Hello, 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 everyone. Um, we just call Carl. Get Carl in as well. Hope everyone in chat is doing well. All having a good Monday. It's just funny seeing the uh, the discussions, the messages between Carl and I of just like the dumb pictures we've sent each other. Well, I'll try to put you on speaker because I'm just on my phone making my tea. Oh, he's doing it. It's like, it just came up to like see that like um, actor that you'd sent on Discord. Just this like extremely handsome, charming man in black and white. Oh, yeah, just the, as like the last the super message. handsome, The super handsome Japanese man. Mm -hmm. People wonder who we talk about them. Um, just go Google Cecile Hayakawa. I just know that like, he's so handsome that Hollywood had to like ban him from being in movies because just white women couldn't deal. <laughs> Literally, just white women just would not stop white wanting to fuck him. So like, we can't have this handsome Japanese man just getting oh. all our white women all um, uh, hot and bothered. So we've got to get rid of him. I'll have to you know, I've got to mention as well, he drove a solid gold car. <laughs> But that's the thing I forgot to mention about like you know he driving a solid golf cart. Mm hmm. Oh no, Carl! What have I done? All right, all right. So I'm gonna leave the call for a sec now and just hop in on um, uh, my actual computer. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um. Why is it doing this? No. Um. Tell you what. Read from file. Has the file got anything in it? Hi there, we are we're experiencing technical problems. Hopefully you can at least hear the game okay. Ah, there we go. As soon as I turn on Firebot, that's when it activates the text. That's what I got confused about last time. I was like, it's not working. What's going on? Oh, for fuck... Oh, now I've changed the counter. Oh, no. Uh... Oh no. I think it was minus a thousand for this. Um Hopefully I'm not too loud, so I was just You got me right in the middle of my dance party, man. Your dance party? Yeah. I always I've um when I get a shower I always have a dance party after my shower to get energized. Do you want to get your dance party after your shower? I uh, I'm normally listening to podcasts. Oh, is this a me thing? After I've had a shower, oh, yeah. When I've had a shower, I like um, dance party. Um, I mean, like people in chat, let us know. Do you have a dance party? Yeah, go for it. Uh... Yeah, I know you got to share your screen, so I'll bring up Twitch. Uh... I'll bring up Twitch. I'll let's see text. Why like, can't I put you in Twitch? It always comes up with you. It's like, would you want to talk to Luke? It's like, well, yeah. Well, obvious. Look, I'll accept the cookies watching your stream. Thank you, Carl. Um, I can, I can like bring you back in a second. Just I've got to sort out this. The renegade is back in. Oh, it's got no settings on it. Fuck it. There we go. So I popped out the chat. So just like whenever you're done with your your, your thing, just shoot us a message. I like yeah, um, shade shake. Yeah. Uh, People are waiting. I'll talk about more about. About what? Hour. Sorry, you just so went camp. completely <laughs> just robot. No, sorry about um, uh, Cecily Hayakawa. Just why not? This guy was super fucking cool. Oh yeah, let's go. Um, got famous because like you just you took up acting as a piss take. <laughs> so to do. Um, absolutely caned it doing like a performance of like a Tennessee Williams play or something like that on a college stage. Guy called to him like you like you'd be awesome for my role. What do you want to do? And um I'll do it, but you gotta give me um two thousand dollars a week. Which in like nineteen thirties money was like asking for fifty grand a week. Yeah, that's a shit ton of money back then. I was like, Okay, cool, yeah, it's fifty grand a week. He's like, Oh cool, I guess I'm an actor now then. <laughs> And just no one's ever heard of him because he basically got um, uh, blacklisted from Hollywood after World War Two because they didn't want Japanese people oh, on TV. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
And it's really sad as well because the only thing he ever wanted to do was play a heroic Japanese. That's so frustrating. Right, so that should be all working yeah. now again. Um, I forgot that yeah. last time I went off stream, like, the renegade text had disappeared. And I started panicking. Oh, okay. But it turned out that it was because I turned my bot off. So the text had gone, no, to, like, it, it'd gone to, like, nil while the bot didn't exist. Uh, Caesar, that's just a renegade option. There's nothing about renegade and not telling people you're going to be renegade. But you did uh, redeem... I still have a feed the fish to use, so we are feeding the fish from three did days you buy ago. More fish? Are, you allowed... are you allowed to buy more fish? Um, I don't know. I if you, like, where are like... the fish? Because I bought like one set of fish. Carl, do do big cheats for us and find out where to find the fish in Mass Effect Two. Where to buy more fish? Mass Effect Two. Where to buy fish? Mass Effect Two. Where to buy fish? So yeah, I, I sorted that morality text out, or like deleted it. Oh, forgot yeah. to sort it out. Okay, so right after you get to the Citadel, there's a gift shop. You can buy two types of fish and a hamster. You can get more expensive fish on Ilium later on. Oh, um, uh, okay, cool. So we can only get them from the Citadel for now, but we can get them from Ilium later. Yes. Sweet. Um, I've, got the, I've got the fish tank guide up. Let's find out. The fish tank guide. Um, I've shared my screen to you now, by the way. Okay. Um, I gave to the, the fish to the hungry guy. I never went back afterwards. Where did I never go back afterwards? Where did I not go back to? I'm also going to change our casual gear because. Oh my god, Lucas. What? Did you know if you buy. The Project Paddlefish in Mass Effect 2. Ellie Chambers survives Mass Effect 2. And you can transfer your save date from Mass Effect 2 to Mass Effect 3. In Mass Effect 3, she'll give you the fish. <laughs> you can you can carry over the fish. Oh, that's excellent. That's incredible. Like um... the, you can like you'll be talking to her. Oh hey Shepard, here's your fish from Mass Effect 2. Well, we have fish in our tank, and those are the only fish that were are available in the game. Um, yeah, but there is a yeah. So what we have to save chambers. Yeah, buy the fish called the Project Paddlefish. Okay. And then in the next game, if you, she's still alive, she'll meet you and give you your old fish. <laughs> well, apparently, like you go to different places, like Canal or Exports, gives you some fish. Okay. And that's on Ilium. So on Ilium, you get a bunch of like extra fish. Wait. Um, uh, that's in Mass Effect Three. So in Mass Effect Three, there's someone there, so you can buy more. But if you carry over, you can carry over a fish from Mass Effect Two to Three. If you're a amazing. fucking don. <laughs> and look at that. People have the balls, the gall, to say that like, you know, know your decisions in Mass Effect Two don't like carry over. <laughs> so, like, you literally can save your fish. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered Did they always give that weird robot soul. effect to Martin Sheen? Not yet. No, that's what I'm just thinking there. Uh... There's something else you should know. They like, sound a bit roboty as old yeah. Martin Sheen. Also, One of your does it freak you out? Like Martin Sheen, we all know he's like Charlie Sheen's dad. Mm -hmm. But you know he's also the dad of Emilio Estevez? Yeah, because um, we talked guy. about this. He told... Um, he, he, he like told Emilio Estevez to like keep his name, right? Yeah, keep your name. But then Charlie Sheen kept it as Charlie Sheen. Yeah, because he was like, I regret not keeping my name as Estevez and changing it to Sheen. And gave him that advice. And then Charlie Sheen was like, fuck it, I'm going to just ride on your name. Yeah. That's the, you know, that's the Charlie so Sheen thing like to do, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Emilio Estevez looks so much like Charlie, uh, Marty Sheen, it's weird. Mm hmm. Yeah. Especially now that he's older. Um, capture audio only. I am doing that. So, like, maybe it was just a weird line. 480 hours of stream this year. Streamed for, I've streamed for, like, 500 hours this year. That's wild. Oh, yeah. Well, am I back now, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Because I was wondering, like, does the model for this character ever stand up? I don't think so. Um, so there's like um, a <laughs> famous we... Like, fucking Caden Alenko is stationed on Horizon. Notify the Alliance. <laughs> Let's get indulged in. Okay. Should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not in so I say do live videos me I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. <laughs> yeah, this audio does sound a bit weird. It could just be, though, like, maybe they're just putting that effect on. Yeah, that maybe. Shadow guy. Like, you knew three times more than me. Fuck okay. yeah. Yeah, it's like the model of Martin Sheen ever stands up. But you'll notice he's got very distinctly one of his arms is shorter than the other one. Oh, no, actually, because at the very start, he stood up, isn't he? And then from that point. I wonder if they modeled that as well, because Martin Sheen has a very, like, one of his arms is shorter than the other one, which mm -hmm. gives him, like, a very unique way of putting his coat on. And I oh, think there's right. a show that he's, like, on. I think it's like West Wing or something like that. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, why does Martin Sheen put his jacket on in such a swag way? Like he throws <laughs> it over his shoulder and spins around putting it on. It's like because he can't move he his right something. arm. But it results in him like putting his jacket on in like a super swag manner. And everyone's like, yeah, yes. boy. Same thing with like um, the guy who plays Riker. Of like, he's got a bad back, so he has to stand up by stepping over his chair like a fucking Don. Uh, right. I wrote an article a few years ago, like um, uh, quirks of celebrities that are a result of horrible injuries, and it's like people love that shit. Hmm, they do. I'm just uh, wondering if I uh, have weird audio going on again, or whether this is just like audio. I've not heard that. anyone talk so far, but Shepard sounded fine. It was just like no, that's definitely weird. Everyone underwater a little bit. Getting our comm systems back online and takes priority. Yeah. Yeah, that's Maybe it's like just the audio is doubled up. No, now doubled it's up. doubled up. Glad you don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. Wait, is it double doubled? What is that? But double doubled it. Get everyone to the safe house. Um. I'll cover you. Run. Yeah, because I can't hear any background noise. It just sounds like all the voices are doubled up. Yeah, some defo weird going on. It sounds like yeah, just the audio is being isolated. Yeah. These bugs are terrifying, I want one. I want one in like a little cage. One moment, please. Why is it always Mass Effect? Do you ever have these issues with like... No, um, it's uh, always Legend fucking Mass Effect. We've had so many issues just with Mass Effect specifically. Specifically Mass Effect, yeah. Shadows stream for a hundred days. That's ridiculous. That's like one third of a year. I've probably spent one third of this year asleep. Oh, I unplugged the wrong thing there. Oh my god, that's so loud. <laughs> that was terrifying, Lucas. Why'd you do that? Oh, I heard, you are the harbinger of their destruction. You can all hear me, because I'm awesome. 
you can never not hear me. I'm just being quiet so Lucas can get his stuff sorted. It's just me and Locus are bros, that's why it's bad. Like true bros. How's my mic doing now? My mic's back. Yeah, my right. camera's back. My gameplay is not. Um. I was asking, I think maybe we'd got cough. Like, does this happen with the other games you play? No. It's just Mass Effect for some reason. What was it about Mass Effect? It's like, bloody hell. Now, are we getting any audio from Mass Effect? Can you hear any Mass Effect? Uh, should I be hearing anything like music? Ooh, I imagine something just came back. Press capture audio only. I am on Xbox. Yeah. Um. Oh, you hear me. It always happens with Mass Effect. Like, what the hell? How am I still getting crackly audio? So maybe what you should do is, like, just put your webcam towards your TV and choose that. And just watch Mass <laughs> Effect this way, folks. Just do it all. Play the game now. Uh... I wonder what it is. The world. The world hates us. Um. Oh, I got a Discord notification. Oh, it's Lucas. Yeah, it's me. That's a, that's a bad thing. Um, I really don't think people appreciate as well how much like work you put into streaming of like <laughs> you lose so many viewers when this happens. It sucks ass yep. so much. I feel bad for you. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, so what am I checking for? Uh... So what? Go to volume. Uh. I don't even know where to find settings on Xbox anymore. They change it like every three months. Like we've made it so much nicer. It's like, but if you just keep changing, I don't know where to find anything ever. A Discord, isn't it? Hey, do you like just always putting your thing up and being in the the server that you're in last? How about we just take away that option? Um, so, oh, because Di because Discord's now trying to push yourself forward as a messaging app and not a forum app. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's still crackling. Um, maybe if I change it from that to something else. Um, no, because it's coming through HDMI at the moment. It's like, it's one of those things of like, I know it's frustrating to like watch the people dip out, but it is one of those things of like, look, I'd also like things to just work. Yeah. Like, it's very annoying for me. It's weird it's always this game. It's always Mass Effect. I can't remember the last thing we streamed on Xbox, but I don't remember having a problem beforehand. Just Mass Effect. It might be just sort of through the game. How oh, weird. But I went off the game and went into the Xbox menu and it was still doing it. Yeah. Um, turn off the Xbox. It's like, oh no, I think you have to do it live, you can't turn your stream off because that's like the absolute worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. A classic internet thing of like you might think it's bad to like do this but it's way worse in terms of the art. It literally is, yeah. So all I want to do is just play some Mass Effect, man. Yeah, exactly. So why video games got to be like this? Why? And the worst <laughs> thing is, why does it work like fine when I'm offline? That's always the worst part. Yeah. Because thing, like people, like we are, we do test this stuff before we go live. Mm -hmm. I test it every single time I go live on anything, and I can see it pop up there, and then it goes black, and now I'm like, well, that's an even separate problem. What the fuck is that problem? Yeah. Like, why is trying to solve one thing caused another issue? Oh, I'm just waiting, though, so I just hear Doof! and just you throw the <laughs> Xbox out the window. <laughs> oh, so, you've been up to otherwise besides this? All right. Trying to get work done mainly. Prep for that Christmas break. How about yourself? Not bad. So I finished my uh, work for the day. I'm excited. My Kathy Smith. I thought this would be the relaxing part of my day, just chilling out and playing some Mass Effect. Yeah, I'll play some Mass Effect. There we go. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I've had to turn my Xbox off, so I don't even know whether it's like saved or quick resumed or what.
Oh. Are you still fuzzy? I fucking hate this as well because it's like that none of the Mass Effect things seem to have like sound to any of it. Yeah. So you nothing's got... helping. Like go through like five screens of zero audio. Yeah. Alright, I'm trying to find the audio problem. Um, who do we want to take to Horizon quickly? Uh hey Jack, we just got Jack, right? Yeah, true. We'll take um Jack and Morden. Morden had like that Morden's bug with him. Morden's always an interesting choice. Well, Morden was like, oh, for fuck's fuck off. Let me get to a thing with audio so I can sort this problem. Oh my god. Oh, we have zero audio. What better? Zero audio or some audio? Bad audio or no audio. Why is it always Mass Effect? What the fuck is wrong with Mass Effect? All Mass Effect is kind of just fuzzy. And Mass Effect is just fuzzy. Who knew? So I've just learned that Mass Effect is fuzzy. I am hopefully still here. I can hear you. I just don't know what to say. It's like, there's not really much to say to a black screen. Yeah, the fire feud is dead at the moment. Um, that's something in the back of my mind while I'm just trying to focus on other stuff, I'm afraid. We've got a lot of stuff on our plate. Yeah. Our plate is so full. Um. That appears to still be horrible sound. Yeah. Problematic targeting. I think it is anyway. Better. It's really hard to tell. I'm trying a conversation. Gordon, you sure these armor upgrades will protect us from the seeker swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should computer <laughs> detection make us invisible oh God, to fine. swarms? In theory. In theory? Experimental technology. Only test is contact with seeker swarms. Have to test them in person. Should be exciting. Fingers fucking crossed. A bit from Morden as well, like, should be exciting. Like, he likes the idea of trying it. It's like he gets to well, that's the thing is, he was examining that, um, little like collector bug before the mission. No, don't worry. I know you're just trying to uh help out, Shadow. Don't worry. That's the thing is, like, all of that background, like, noise of the engines and stuff. I'm like, is that meant to be crackly or is it not? Oh my god, you walk in. We go full screen, so we'll have like half a screen. Yeah, no, it's something of one of those of like, it's just right now, I'll get it out eventually, like, when things calm the fuck down. 
but yeah, I appreciate that you're uh, excited about it. But it was fun to record, and it, I'm sure it'll make for a fun video when I can get around to it, but yeah, it's just been one of those of like, just worry about that when I've got time. Uh, that is not something I'm aware of. Um, I'm not the one that's been in charge of the PO Box stuff. Um, I can send a message to the group chat later and just be like, hey, uh, the, the PO Box is shut because we had it for six months. It wasn't active for four months. It got extended for two months, and now that's two months is gone. So we can, we're chalking it up to this was a terrible experience. Let's get rid of it. So they've got, they've not given you the extra months? No, they did. But the extra months that we had, we it was still fucked up for that time, and they're not giving me any more. What? I but, got so pissed. Like, got it so only got activated like a month or two ago. Yeah, but they gave me an extra two months. And but, but like that extra you two paid for like, way more than that, right? I paid for six months, yeah. And it wasn't active for four months. So yeah, just fuck you. Remember, like, every time you'd even be able to get to the post office because it was always short, they were just like, yeah, it's not working. Like, oh, okay, well, do, do you know when it will be up? No. It's all good. Um, appreciate the, the thought, Ross, but, yeah. There's, that's been... I, I, all I've heard is Carl telling me it's like a shit show. Collector ship disrupting yep. communications. I love how the game's basically trolled me because it's given me crackly engine audio and then audio that's actually meant to be cutting out. And I'm just like, why would you do this? Like, I'm trying to find out whether the audio's cutting out or not. And then the game gives me audio that's like, uh, I'm cutting out. Uh, it's like, no, okay. Oh, it sounds okay so far to me. Marks. Obviously, as well, like, we put it so that the effects of, like, the music and the um, guns are a lot quieter than the audio, like, for speaking. So I'm just waiting for, like, audio lines. Yeah. I'm, sure, like, I'm replaying Final Fantasy VII Remake to take the taste of, like, FF16 out of it. <laughs> I forgot they just added Dante to the game as, like, a boss fight. That, that dickhead on the motorcycle comes out. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, yeah. I forgot added Dante to the game and said beat him up. <laughs> I might end up playing that again over the holidays now to remind myself of what happened before um, it's why I'm replaying Rebirth it. comes I out. Like when FS16 sucks, I want to play a game that actually is fun and will set me up for the new one. What, do you mean so you want to play a Final play Fantasy game? game? Yeah, I do. Here's the thing about Final Fantasy, 7, 6, 6, or Final Fantasy 16, there's no party system. Yeah. I think I was telling you about how, like, your brother is a main character in the game who's missing for, like, a decade. And I didn't know he was with my party for, like, an hour because he's always, like, 12 foot behind me. He doesn't help in combat and your character never speaks to him. Oh, fucking hell. There was, like, an entire hour of side missions where I had my main character's brother and they never spoke a word to each other. <laughs> There was no banter, there was no talking. It doesn't help in combat, it doesn't do anything, you can't do it. It's so dumb. I, um... And I just thought about, like, when you play, like, FF7 Remake, you get, like, Barrett in your party and has a full unique play style. T has a full unique play style. Yeah, Tifa plays great. And, yeah, it's just like, oh, well, we made Devil May Cry and called it Final Fantasy. It's like, thanks. We made it look yeah, like Game of Thrones. Go. Isn't that fun? It's like, no one cares! You're five I years mean, too late. Sure. You're too strong. So like Clive has just got S T S solutions for these kind problems. Whatever you say, boss lady. Because like you just press a button and you kill like five things. It's great. I like how He's currently like, Jack is just like calling like boss lady. But I really away. don't like you. All I am just doing resistance. what you say. Must have happened yeah. quickly. But, um, yeah, like. Enemies in front. Baldur's Gate Three is just like they've gone completely quiet about crossplay when they've released the Xbox version, and it's like. You would think they'd have, like, some kind of new statement about it since they've just released on a new platform. I saw as well, like, the Xbox version. They didn't even get a chance to announce it on stage because they got um, uh, booed, like, ushered off stage by Jeff Keighley. 
and then Jeff Keighley, after the entire show went through, went, Apologize. well, I did actually ask them to give, like, people later in the show a bit more time, and they ignored me. It's like, you had three hours to sort that shit out. Do you have no control over what's going on, like, backstage, live? Because you should have a say. I think what got me is, like, Anuma, like, the legendary producer for Nintendo Anuma was on stage talking about Tears of the Kingdom, and he got ushered off stage, and, like, seemingly he spent more time talking about his life. Yeah, like, um... The producer of Zelda. Fucking... What's his name? Anthony Mackie gets to, like, tell developers to shut up as, like, Baldur's Gate have to rush off stage while talking about dead co-workers and shit. Like, oh, we want to honour this to, like, people that died during production. It's like, no, rush him off. We've got to get Timothy Chalamet back up. It's like, fuck. But, like, that thing is, when we were watching it, it's like, I am not the type of person that sits there and, like, I know the critiques exist, and I know that, like, that's what the show should be. It should be more geared towards it, but it never is going to be. And I don't expect no. that. Like, it, I wish it was. But guess what? The Dice Awards exist and no fuckers watch it. Nope. Because it doesn't have the awards and the advertising. It doesn't have the advertising. And I'm there to watch the advertising. Oh, I, like, I treat it like a long E3 showcase. Because that's yeah. what it is and that's what he wants it to be. So I'm not going to get mad at the adverts and the celebrities and stuff. Because guess what? Like, there is another award show where they give developers their due. And it's like, it's not great. Because, like, you know, the, it is the most watched forward-facing, like, um... Victim appears conscious. Develop, aware. like, you know, Trapped place for developers stasis. to get awards, but... Fascinating. It's not, Even that's like not what time. it is. As much of it calls itself an award show, that's literally not what it is. Especially when, like, the awards are voted on by fans. It's like... Well, they're mostly vote. It's like 10% fan vote. I did like, though, that people get mad at Baldur's Gate 3 of, like, how did this win? And it's, like, you know, footage of Baldur's Gate being played against this, and it's, like, footage of a Spider-Man cutscene. Oh, I like, saw that, the everything... Sandman cutscene at the start where he gets... It's like, yeah, that's impressive. I am assuming but it's a cutscene. Also, this is pretty bad. very important as well. Assume like, direct control. Yeah, just fucking... The Collector General is just like, oh, guess what? I can, like, be, use anyone as a fucking avatar. Your form is fragile. I like that. Your uh, form is fragile as I just melt them with their own particle beam. It's proving it's fragile. Look how easy it falls apart. That was so funny. Of like, look, how did it win over this? It's almost like um, games can be different from just bombastic action on screen and of like action for slapping together it's the same people who say marvel movies should win the oscars yeah it's i also found it really out. funny people tweeting out like how did spider-man 2 not win what the fuck is Baldur's gate 3 no one's ever played Baldur's gate 3 but i think you'll find a lot of gamers did play Baldur's gate 3 it's the same thing of like uh when people like oh robert pattinson being cast as batman what the guy from twilight and the mm -hmm. director came out and said well, if all you've seen him in is Twilight, my answer to you would be, go watch better movies. <laughs> but if you're Pattinson annoyed was... that he's in a bad movie, go watch the, like, dozens of great movies he's also in. That Everyone's been in bad movies, but it just so happened that with Robin Pattinson, that was his, like, the real kickstart to his career was the bad movie. Yeah. Which is really funny where people like they only see it as that, and it's like, well, if you're still obsessed with a bad movie was in ten years ago, fair enough. But he's even been in better movies <laughs> since then. He's like, since then, been known as like the weirdo rich actor that only stars in like independent movies that he gives a shit about. If like, if anything, he is one of like the least sellout people in all of Hollywood. But it's always that thing, is it? Like, because people only play the pump. It's like. Uh... It'd be a mad. All I see when I see those tweets is these are people who play Call of Duty, FIFA, and PlayStation, like whatever is the big game of the year, and that's it. That's all mm -hmm. they play. Yeah. To them, that's all gaming is. Mm -hmm. As a medium, it can never be more than that. So I'm happy we now I do, want... to just settle down and play some Mass Effect 3. Hell yeah. And I, I am too. just going to turn straight back to like the fucking Black Hole gun. Here. 
now. The particle so beam's far. cool, but the black hole gun's great. Oh, man. And I am glad. Here's the thing, like, yeah. I'm so excited for like, the next Final Fantasy game because I want more from Jesse. I forget how like heavy they lean on Jesse in that first like two hours. Yeah, because like Jesse's meant to be dead as far as I was aware, not playing the game. But she like, dies in, like they, the first season, yeah. they die when the city collapses, but then she's in the trailer for the next yep. one, and it's like, wait, it was that Jesse? What? It's because people really like the character. Like, mm. I am fully on board with the next game because Zach's alive. That's not a spoiler. That's in the trailer. And the game's been out for three years. And it's in the post credits. Like, yeah, like Zach's alive, which means that they're just rewriting the timeline. Aerith lives. I'm hoping so, but like, they what I'm really hoping, can... what I'm really hoping is that Aerith dies and there is a way to bring back Aerith. Yeah, what I think would be the ballsiest thing they could do is if they give Aerith all this extra like characterization. Make her you're the most bad. adorable you're lucky you're character. Like, I, I love this right character. Now. I want to spend time with this character. And then kill her. Yeah. Um, that would take the fucking balls. What it should be as well is, you know that like rumour of like you had to go do this side quest and like yeah, do that yeah. random bullshit to go get her back? Like, I wish that they kept it a secret and made it so that that random rumour from like 20 years ago was actually now true. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of I'm hoping that she'll, like, you know, live because I like the character, mm -hmm. and it's interesting that they're going to rewrite the timeline to make like Final Fantasy VII Prime almost. Because there's been so much like extra universe material about the, the game, mm -hmm. that they kind of need to make just like a unified timeline for it that makes corrects all that not the mistakes. Obviously, killing Aerith was like a, a mistake. I, I don't I'm want Aerith to die. Like that's the thing, you don't want Aerith to die, but at the same time, that is one of like the probably the greatest decisions they have ever made. Yes, it's one of the most iconic moments in gaming to this day. It's why I was really gutted, like when I was playing through the game the first time. Like, oh man, I really like what they've done with Jester. I hope, like, and I know she's gonna die, and I'm probably gonna be bad about it. I was always nice to her in my playthrough. Mm. Um, also, yeah, this is like talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah, remake and rebirth. That's remake what. and rebirth, and then reawakening. Which you know, just rebirth and reawakening makes like implies that they're completely rewriting and rechanging it anyway. It's going to be a different Final I'm down Fantasy for that. VII. Mm -hmm. Zach's alive, so it's already like everything's out the window. See, I'm saying I don't even know. Like, I kind of know who Zach is, but I kind of don't. Um, he's the most badass character. He's so badass. Because he's like, he is proto Cloud, right? He's and then Cloud, Cloud gains like his powers or something. No, what it is is uh, he was like such a fucking badass. Like, he was like Sephiroth's right hand man. Right, yeah. He was a boy. If you have defense, he was friends with Cloud. He dies and the Cloud the gets his memories erased and thinks that he's Zack. Right, okay, yeah. He blames all of Zach's powers and experiences, but he doesn't have the full soldier treatment. Yes, okay. He still has, like, the Mako eyes, but not to the extent that he should have, because he was like, you know, whilst I played FF the original, but it's like he gets it done like Dr. Hojo after the fact. Mm. Um. Also, this little mechanic guy, do you reckon we need his help? Or should Why we... Not? Do we ask for help during like the collector attack, or do we leave him here safe? I say we might need your help. We might need your help. What, mate? The entire universe is at stake. You got to step up. Mm. You better come with us. That's a renegade oh, option. No. You just gonna let the collectors take your friends? I'm a mechanic. What am I supposed to do? Whack him with my wrench? No, he's got a point. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind <laughs> you. <laughs> like how he's like, any absolutely fucking Run. not. I think is that yeah, I respect I that. your decision, but fuck you. Yeah. Oh, hell, goddamn yeah! Oh, I'm so excited for like rebirth. I'm mate, because I've been replaying through it again. I'm like, man, this game is so good. How did 16 suck so much? Yeah, and that like, thing is, I was hoping that this holiday would be, you know, nice Baldur's Gate co-op room, but no, it's probably just going to end up being Final Fantasy instead. It's like I'm still excited about the idea because that game is so weird with the like. Especially the ending, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I need to remind myself. So, I yeah, guess it, I will try does, it lets me uh, kind of free up a bit of time to figure out what the fuck's going on in that game. But yeah, like... I'm also so excited for Cherith. 
<laughs> so excited. Like that's the thing I like, just Eric with the steel chair. It's that I know where. I also need a playthrough on my PS5, so I like, to carry over all my stuff, because like my PS4 You're playthrough. So I wanna like do a playthrough on the PS5 so I can like get more like a fully upgraded cloud on that. Do not have like a save transfer from four to five. It does, but I like, thought I'll replay it so I can get like, the information thing as well. <laughs> oh my god. Just love. Yeah, puny humans my art. Oh good blast. Yes. You know what? They are few <laughs> they are puny body. You see like Mordin coming in with like the John Wick? No. <laughs> oh my god, oh <laughs> The fucking Harbinger barriers are horrible. Face your annihilation. Oh. Got a fucking version, <laughs> fuck you. Oh. Oh. Neutralize. There we go. Who's your favourite character in like the remake then? Who's not one of the main party? And why is it Jesse? It's Jesse. It's got to be Jesse. I still giggle. I think about it every now and again. That, like amazing like shit post someone did of like he's a mock up of Cloud's phone and he's just Jesse like, hey boy, how big's that dick? And Cloud's like, small, leave me alone. Last <laughs> <laughs> thing is like, when it comes to women, Cloud has such like small dick energy. <laughs> He's so bad at women. Yeah. Like, well, I've just done, like, the bike scene where Jesse's like, my hero is like, shut up, I'm driving my motorcycle. I mean, the best line is obviously just, like, the cloud, you look great, I know. Let's move I'm on. Is he just, like, in though. his, like, um, his, yeah, his, like, whatever dress you choose to put him in for the dance scene, and he's, like, dressed up looking all dragged up and uh, all pretty and everything, and they're like... Wow, Cloud, you look so pretty. I know. Let's move past it. It still annoys me that they didn't give an option for a new game plus. Maybe it's in like a version of a game I've not played, like the PS5 like release or whatever, just mm -hmm. to choose which dress Aerith and um, Tifa wear. Do they always like, get the same dress? Not... I think Aerith gets three different dresses and Tifa gets the dress, but why is there not the option to have like Cloud run through the game in the dress? Oh Just yeah, I know that. that's that's infuriating. Like, I know that there's like different ways to unlock different dresses, and you only get the scene once. But like, you can do different things to influence which dress he gets. But like, the fact that it's not just an outfit of like, put each of the cloud dresses on for actual battle. I'll take it. It's such you a shame. Game, yeah. Like the Tifa and um, uh, Aerith dresses. Mm -hmm. So like, maybe the Tifa one like, running around kicking stuff. But yeah, Aerith no. just runs around. Aerith is that already so wearing a dress. That's the thing, that would have got me onto a New Game Plus right away. A New Game Plus, everyone's wearing the dress, except for Barrett. <laughs> I would quite like Barrett in her dress as well. I, think I would do that, like, the dress playthrough. Yeah. And it's so weird how it's not like DLC or New Game Plus option or, or like that musical number of like, why is that not a mini game mm -hmm. that you can play? And why is there not like every Final Fantasy VII song? And I want to do that like, um, uh, one winged angel. Yeah. Dun, 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 like dun, dun, dun. Cloud doing karaoke to one winged angel in a dress. Like, sign me up. Yeah, the FF7 remake is very good. And, like, I think you can get Absolutely. it relatively cheap now. It is probably just one of my favorite games. It's someone who absolutely, like, everyone loves Final Fantasy VII, the original. I, I do not. Because I, I never oh, played it when it was like relatively uh, new i tried to play it you know in 2016 or something for the first time and was like this game does not hold up very well ah uh, okay because i like i played ff7 then i played um, i didn't play dojo cerberus right yeah so i i've not played any um ff7 game through apart yeah, from enjoy. remake that's the only one i've like actually played to completion i've played about five hours of ff7 multiple times i played the opening but yeah i just it really doesn't hold up very well also like... I just, i've got the, i've got the bit where jesse's like hey my roommates are out tomorrow you're coming over <laughs> the only two options are no and no <laughs> wow just doesn't want to get why doesn't he want to slap nothing why doesn't he want to just uh, like you know go on a date with jesse at very least see how things go 
it should be an option, yeah. In the next game, I bet they've probably heard a lot of people that they'll make it an option to like take her out on a day. It's like, look at how many people are like, just, I'm so happy in Baldur's Gate, I can sleep with anything and everything in clouds, like, leave me the fuck alone, please. It's kind of, it's endearing. It is endearing in its own like way, not. yeah. Like your history with the series? I mean, I've played through like, um, FF8, I've played parts of FF9, completed like 10 with you, um, completed 13 a couple of times, completed... Um, the fact you've 13, completed 13 on seven, so The 13 trilogy I've completed as well. That annoys me so much. And you uh, played 13 before you played Final Fantasy X. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy X is like the best one. But I played like that yeah. thing is I played eight and nine first, but was a kid and couldn't really complete any of them, and then after oh, that man. it was like, oh okay, well I kind of skipped all the PS2 ones. Um, and then it was like, oh, Lightning looks very cool. I want to play this Final Fantasy 13. And then we all, fell, we all fell for that. I know, I know. We all did. There's going, be, there's, going entire, there's going to be an entire generation of kids as well who fell for it with Clive. Yeah. And I am not looking forward to the discourse in five years of like, well, I think we were a bit harsh on FF16. It's like it won like 15 fucking awards. <laughs> a lot of people are, are putting it up there as one of the best games of the year. It's really, it's, it's, from what I've heard, it's, it's really, really not. It's really not, like especially as well. Maybe it'd been the, one of the games of the year if FF7 Remake hadn't come out. And I can see that they did a character action game with RPG elements, fine. And the fact that in 16, there are no character swap moments, even though the other two characters you team up with are so fun. Mm -hmm. Like you have uh, an ice fencer, so fencing with ice powers, and then you have a... Uh, a mage with like fire powers who has like um, a, a long sword who dances. Oh, I thought uh, Clive and was the fire power one. He has fire powers, well, but his brother has fire powers. And then uh. you have Sid, who fights the electric powers and who's got like the fists. Do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. But wouldn't you really like to play as just Clive? Yeah, I mean, you never get. And I think the thing that gets me is Time to show these once you've bought every move for his sword. Did. That's it. Bring he has one combo. Three, he has a four hit combo. That's it. And that's all you need as well. It will take time to bring that's the thing to full power. I recommend a None of your weapons posture. have like um, special effects on them. I thought maybe I'll get a new weapon as a new move set. Or I'll get like, you know, fine. I'll get a new sword. I mean, nope. Same four hit combo. Try a game. And it's a hundred hour game. Any other helpful tips? Just one. Well, imagine a hundred hours, Lucas, of only looking at like the one combo and Devil May Cry. Well, that's why I'm starting to get really like just a bit um, bored of Lies of P now because like, I, it looks that it won't really tell me what um, skills I'm gonna have later down the line. Like each thing, part of the skill three. tree, it's like, oh, unlock the first part of the skill tree, and you'll find out what happens in the second part. And then the it, problem with me is like, I'm like, all I've got is like two separate combos of like light, light, heavy, or like heavy, 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 or use my bar to do a couple of abilities. And there's the thing as well, like you're not sure will it ever get better than that. Yeah. And that was the problem I had in FF16. Like I kept playing, thinking. Well, they're not just going to let me use the same weapon the entire game, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick up like a bigger sword or a short sword, or there's a fencing move set for one character. I'll get their weapon with ice powers. And it's that's... like, no, I get the ice powers and I gain two extra special moves that just screen wipe, and every ability is a screen wipe. Yeah, and because the way it's like a Dark, Slo Dark Souls like game is like, I'm not encouraged to experiment with my weapons because. I've had to put powerful resources into one weapon to power it up to where like my current area is. So I haven't got any other reinforcements ways to like upgrade other weapons to try them out. And it's like and all my other weapons with like different move sets are super weak and also like on the special weapon that I've acquired. So it's like, I am I could go and use a different move set because there's like, I think there must be like maybe four different types of weapons that all have like a different, you know, light attack and heavy attack. But then it's like the game is discouraging for me from trying any of the other stuff out. I always found that annoying as like, hey, 
the fact that Elden Ring never gives you an option of give me just an item that puts your sword to like plus fifteen. Mm -hmm. Just give me a, like give me the ability to pay money and have my sword go to like plus fifteen, so I can try a new weapon out, put it straight to a high enough level and get damage against you. Yeah. And I haven't, I still haven't gotten to the chapter. Like, I think I'm on chapter five out of twelve. And it's like seemingly further into chapter five that I can finally get an ability to respec anything. And I've got to spend resources to respec. And it's like, I don't mind if the resources were just like souls like they are in Elden Ring or whatever the, whatever the currency is in Elden Ring, you know what I mean? Like, and I think it's like actual consumable items that you can't get an infinite number of. And it's like, no, the game Easy should back, just be... In Elden Ring, yeah. No, I mean, like, the in Lies of P as well, but, like... Oh, God. Here's the thing. Like, when people rip off Dark Souls, you can just put better stuff in, right? You can put better combat in. Like, you can put in better combat, or you no can way, put in be better, fun. like, weird shit, like the ability to respec for less resources, or the ability to, like, level up weapons easier and shit, like... It doesn't have to copy everything good and bad from those games. And yeah, it's just like, yeah, it, it, it is one of those things of like, I'm just online. getting to that point where I'm like, is, I've basically back. been doing the same routine over and over again for like hours can on just, end. Can you find yourself like, okay, am I ever going to get more moves than this? And the answer is, I don't know. Yeah. And you have very little way of figuring back. out. Shields are I got almost to the final battle of um, FF16 before I realised you never get more moves. It never gets better than this. I felt so fucking flaccid when I realised that. Yeah. I, it just it never gets better. The combat never improves. You never get a second character. You never get a second weapon. You never get a second move set. And that thing is like, oh well, you know, maybe like because for example. Um... Liza P, like, I got an ability to do, like, a second dodge roll. And that's, like, in the, the first part of the skill tree. And it's like, that's great. But, like, do I get another upgrade at any point? And it's like, I shouldn't have to be going on to, like, random websites to go and, like, check a wiki to see what the latest skill trees are or anything. It's like, I should just be able to look and go, like, how powerful am I going to get by the end of the game? Well, it is if you want to play Crash of Dark Souls style game. Yeah. I'll never forget when, like, a friend of ours legitimately defended Dark Souls not telling you what your stats do. Yeah. And, like, just... still to this day, like, you know, Liza P doesn't... My attack didn't work. And they've just... Again, no, they just she... want to copy everything both good and bad. The one that got me, I don't think it put me on my ass. is we go when Bloodborne came out. Yeah, yeah. They had, like, the, they had, like, those god-awful low times. Oh, yes, yeah. There were legitimately people who tried to defend that by saying the load times are deliberate to make you think about what you did wrong. It's the like, deaths are more impactful that way, Carl. Yeah, because they couldn't admit that maybe FromSoft just didn't optimize the game right. Maybe it shouldn't run at 25 frames a second and take 60 seconds to load every time. Yeah, and there, like, there were people saying no, it's deliberate. It's like just admit it's not good. Yeah, like you can say. <laughs> The whole point of like liking something is finding things that you change about it, right? Mm -hmm. Very few things are perfect. Yeah. Like, not everything can be super pros. <laughs> it's um, it's funny because like you know, I I no! Don't let him get keep away. just like every time I see Pokemon news, I'm like, oh, why have they done this again? And it's like I must seem like someone that just fucking hates Pokemon, but it's because I want to love Pokemon so much that like. Every time, like, the selling point of the DLC is, like, for the fifth time on the bounce, it's just, you can catch all the legendaries. I'm like, I've got so many legendaries. I use legendaries as spares for fodder. Today, I just was like, oh, I forgot that I don't have a, um... I only have, like, a shiny pig knight and a shiny marsh stomp, not a regular ones. So they're missing in, like, my regular slots on my Pokedex on Pokemon Home. And I was just like, I guess I'll just trade, like, a... a I think I traded like a Cresselia and a Dark Rye for like a Marsh Tomp and a Big Knight because I just don't care. Yeah. I'm, like, I've, I'm swimming in legendaries, please. I'm, I'm done. 
and all they're gonna do is ruin the meta game. Yeah. I still that think it's very huge. one of those things exactly I'll put in. I'm like you. I just, I don't care about Pokemon anymore. Insanity. Like, it's, like, it's taken a long time. Mm -hmm. But I don't give a shit. Yeah. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. But it's like, it no is because I care so much Nobody about Pokemon. That, like, it took you this long. Yeah. I'm just like, I get frustrated because I want to love it sure, so much. I like, you. I want Some type of big Scarlet and Violet to run well Commander because, like, Shepherd, Captain of the Normandy, the first just year. Jesus Christ, they had good ideas Save in that game, but it, it's such a mess. You're in the presence yeah. of a legend, Delan, and a ghost. All the good people we lost, and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you, Alliance types. Oh, I'm Caden's here, though. The real hero. Commander. I was like, we did Caden glitch out and not say his line because that subtitle was up for so long before he started speaking? I love that. Caden, a Just, built a I thought you were dead. We all did. I was. A reunion has to wait. Cerberus brought me back to stop attacks like this. That was a little idea, though. It's like, I thought you were dead. It's like I was. Damn right. You're with Cerberus now. I can't believe the reports were right. Reports. What's up with Caden's voice being like super like gritty now? Yeah. Intel. Like, why, why is he Man, talking I've been like smoking like, 40, 40 a day days. since you died, Commander? Yeah, like, might be the next you think they're just trying to make him a bit more fuckable to realize how like milk toast he was in the last game? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> He's just talking like Commander Shadow. It's good. It's like Snake. I feel like he's going to tell me about Metal Gear in a sec. I've been screaming about your death for two years. My throat <laughs> burn out. Ask him what a Metal Gear is. <laughs> um, Cerberus and I want the same thing. Yeah, Sword and Shield have the same problems in the wild areas, which is why I was like, well, if they manage to do the wild areas as an open world, that'll be great. They just need to fix a lot of the issues. And then they went, wait, fix the issues? No, no, no. You've turned your back on Let's just make it the whole game and not fix any of the issues. Yeah, me and you are in the same boat of, like, Sword and Shield doesn't look great, but it is their first attempt to make an open-world game. Or, mm. like, you know, a game on a console. Sure, it looks really amateurish, and there's, like, this is literally the single most profitable, like, property on planet Earth, but Pokemon's earned a lot of goodwill. Yeah, like, like it gets that... one. It gets that gimme. And then I played Scarlet and Violet, and I went, this don't look great. And then I noticed that you can't change your outfits. I oh, went, God, okay. Yeah. Then I noticed that the Pokemon had really bad animations. Then I noticed that all the Pokemon sucked. Yeah. I just I, there's a point where I just put the game down and I never picked it back up again. Mm -hmm. But that thing they say of like there's a point where your parent put you down and they never pick you back up again. <laughs> That's me with Pokemon. I put it down and th through no choice, active choice on my own. It wasn't fuck Pokemon like I'm never playing it again. I it's just you guess what? Carl's interest has just waned. They could be using the threat of a reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind? I just put the game down, and I'll probably not pick it back up again. Because there's no, there's no nostalgia that's going to keep you back. Because they're not doing it anymore. They're only focusing on legendary Pokemon, which I just do not give a shit about. Um. Yeah, it's like he, he, he. The thing is, he's not that guy in terms of the guy you want to bang, but also like to our shepherd. Just humans aren't the people we want to bang, regardless of what we keep doing, regardless no, of our actions like pushing the human race forward, that we keep wanting oh. to just bang aliens. So what's the all alien dicks about? Yeah. But if you well, no, we didn't even Shepherd get alien about... dick in the first game. We got Liara. You were allowed, yeah. You only allowed the alien V. Yeah. Like, you're too they're very explicitly okay. tell you that they were exactly like human females, and we way more banging. Maybe. But, but again, I do I like the idea that maybe they look like Hannah to the Hannah. Maybe you're yeah. the one who's not thinking straight. You know what's this like super edgy Caden? I know, know where my loyalties lie, Shepard. Always will be. I'm, I'm an alliance man. So I know you're. you're a king. You decide if they believe you work for me. Not. Don't go. Join me. It's like no. Fuck you. We've fuck you, Caden. Gonna turn out. The alliance will try to blame Cerberus just like you did. A leopard can't. He's even wearing black armor. Mm -hmm. Cerberus can't be trusted. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. 
I like that leopard can't change its spots. Man who's completely changed his personality from the first Joker, game. <laughs> he's grown a personality. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. He's completely changed from the first game. He's like, no, people can never change. Like, you have. <laughs> but you sound like you've changed voice actor, Caden. Did he change voice actor? Or did the voice no, actor it just sounds like he has. Let's, ch let's just find out if it is a different voice actor. It sounds like someone trying to do an impression of Caden from the first game. Holy. Have a look. Um, Sun Shield did have a good soundtrack, but like. I, Sun Shield had a decent soundtrack and good highlights, and I'd argue that so does Scarlet and Violet. Like, the fucking. Um, good work on the Toby race. Fox, Hopefully like, root theme is really good. Twice before attacking another colony. I think the obvious problem oh. I've got with, like, a lot of Pokemon is. I normally don't play with a lot of music because I'm playing handhold a lot. What were you going to say, Carl? Uh, have a look. So, the guy who plays Kaze is the same guy. Mm -hmm. It's called Rafael Sabage. Okay. I don't know. Uh, can't find if he's done, any, if he's done anything decent that we know him from. To go toe -to -toe with the enemy. Oh, he's you Professor Zay in Avatar, by the guy who goes into the. Sated. The underwater thing. Uh, Go uh, the I, underground I have not watched underground any world. of either Avatar. <laughs> I've like not really okay. watched any of either, so I presume you mean Avatar Last Airbender? Yes. Right, okay, yeah. Like that's that's I know about as much as like I know the general premise, I've seen the first couple of episodes and then I've got a lot of clips of Fat Fiend and Wiki Weekends. He's not been in much by the looks of it. He's like, you know, he's one of those like he's a working actor. Also, isn't Avatar, is it out, like, this year on Netflix? I don't know. I don't care. So, like, you know the I'll trailer watching... looked okay. It, it did. It looked I'll like an actual live-action adaptation. It didn't look like yeah. the um, Shyamalan movie where it was like, this. Like I wouldn't have guessed it was Avatar, you know what I mean? This is another Avatar thing coming out next year that I'm way more excited for, and it's just the direct sequel to the show with the same voice actors. It's like, yeah. oh, what the fuck you said then? How do we lure in the collectors? I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. I'm moving your swag outfit. Got a tip about me and I want that hoodie. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm playing through this game as well. I'm reminded. Do you ever see the short haired Tifa mod? And working for Cerberus. I see. Short haired Tifa. No. Yeah, you know, like people are modding the game. The only ones I saw were people like screenshotting like it. streamers with increasing the size of her breasts. And it's like, why? Sh yeah. It's, she, like, I get that she, like, had slightly smaller breasts than the ridiculous PS1 breasts, but, like, she still is very well endowed in that remake. Yeah, but there is, like, a absolutely fucking, like, phenomenal mod that gives her short hair, which looks so good. Send a picture in the Discord, because, like, I'm no, not sure I'd like short hair Tifa. Because there's, like, two things that, like, people want is short hair Tifa and then the cowboy hat. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. They, they, they were, like, the two mods that people made of, like, give her short hair, give her the cowboy hat. I did find it funny because I was listening to Jeff Grubb the other week and whatnot, whenever it was that he was talking about, like, oh, so uh, I've been playing through RE4 and I started streaming some of it. And then he got caught, like, modding the game because Ada just had massive boobs. <laughs> and, short oh, God, like, and it's like, God damn that? it. It's like, That's if you want to like... do it, do it. It's fine. I just find it so funny getting caught in the act of like, oh, no, I made aid has got big moves. Like... It's not a thing of, I can't help but look at it and go, really? Yeah. This is what you want your name to have? Mm -hmm. Chase them off once, find a target and all It's yeah, like, you know what? Yeah. You you do what you do. I just thought that was really funny of like Homework. getting caught in the act of the mods. It's like, oh, no, forgot to turn off really my mods sad. before I streamed. <laughs> It means he sat down and installed that because he thought, like, you needed aid to stop him for bigger ticks. It's not like yeah. the funny ones where, like, the one I want to get for Metal Gear Rising is make Ryder and, like, Pepsi Man. <laughs> one of the stupid ones like that. It's like, if I went in and just made Ryder and, like, into Tofu from, like, oh, God, Resident that'd be Evil great. 2. Like, I, people I, going in and, like, the nude mods for, like, fighting games and stuff, it's like, are you that horny? Yeah, like, you know porn exists, right? It's like, you know, porn it probably exists off those characters, yeah. <laughs> yeah I put, I've sent you short hair Tifa. She looks so much better. Like, that's what I'm mad about. I'm mad that, like, 
I can't mod RE4 because I haven't got a PC because like I want to put cool outfits in. Okay, yeah, short hair Tifa does look cool. But I think I still prefer the long hair, but I, I would like the option to like mod costumes into all of my games because that's like the only reason that I would like want to play on PC over consoles is just being able to add costume mods to everything I play. Especially when it's costumes that are in the game, like the dresses, like the fact that you can't have Cloud wearing the dress for the entire game, even mm -hmm. though it's got a model. Yeah. You can see him doing backflips and shit in it. It was hard to see Caden again. I'll, I'll say it was hard to see Caden again. I'll make the game feel good about itself. Behind and focus on our he's, like, you know, he's a nice guy. He's just, he's just not interesting. Yeah. Relay to the collector home he was just like, you know, a decent soldier that wasn't racist or spacist. You and your entire team. It's like, that's how he, that's how he beat Ashley to being likable. It was he wasn't a spacer. Yeah, you think he's a pretty low bar not to be racist, but not in this game. <laughs> I'll make oh, sure they're ready, one way or the other. I forgot, I remember like an extra no cool character in like RE7 you know Remake. He's got like Shinra Man. Clear about your odds. Oh, you know the Shinra oh, Warden oh, Man? Oh, he's like, he's in like four oh, themes oh, and all he oh, does is like, I hate eco-terrorism. He's like, shut up. I'm a hero. I want to be the biggest eco-terrorist ever there's nothing you can do about it. I find it so funny that like... You know, that was another one of those games when, like, I guess we're really gonna Remake it. came out and it was like, I don't want politics in my Take game. Give me FF7. Looking forward to the action. What do you mean the well, game about being eco-terrorist? The first line that Barrett says in the original game is the planet's dying cloud. <laughs> and there's like, we're avalanche <laughs> eco-terrorists. They're taking down the big corporation that's, like, sucking the soul out of the world. Yeah, it's like it's not subtle what they're saying there. Like this giant corporation is literally sucking the planet dry for profit. <laughs> That's not subtle. It's like it's ones like that and like the One Piece and the Metal Gear Solid. I'm like, how can you sit there and genuinely actually think it doesn't contain a level of politics? I, I, I understand if you want to gloss over it and ignore it, but to think it's not there. Yeah, so I say I stream Metal Gear Rising every Friday. And I just, every time I get to, like, the Armstrong fight, I remind people that people said this game's not political. Mm -hmm. And there's literally a line in the game where they directly reference 9-11. That's what I meant, mm -hmm. Commander. I don't want any distractions when we hit the relay. Ryden's like, man, 9-11. business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Ah, is this where they tell you, go do the side quest now? I think so. Go do your fucking side quest, you idiot. But it might be worth maybe check like when a certain thing happens. The point of no return. Not the point of no return, but the point of like you need to go and rush and do these things. Like okay, mass effect. Two. Because there's like there are character deaths that can happen if you don't do a certain part of the game quickly enough. Yeah. Time sensitive missions, there we go. So So Mass Effect 2, Time Sensitive. Because we wouldn't have unlocked the missions of, like, I'll take this in my quarters. Um, the Samara okay, so and the... The last, the last thing we should do is the Reaper IFF mission. Do not do that. Save that mission for last. Okay. So when you see the Reaper IFF come up, do not do that last. Do do like, that do last. Do that last. Okay. Yes, make, they, they say, like, even if you do one mission between, that bad shit can happen. Right, okay. Commander, thank you for your so time. do not go to the Derelict I'll Reaper. If it's an option that you have, do not go around. Okay, so just get as much shit done there, before, then, as we can. Yeah, so apparently Dr. before Kenshin that, that's fine. That okay, cool. Of an imminent reaper invasion. That's one of those things that the game never tells you, and it could fuck you up. And do you know what? So why call it's annoying, but it's a great way to make people play the game again. Mm -hmm. And then to me, like when one of my teammates died, I was like, I do play the game again. Yeah, I, um, I finished my first playthrough of Mass Effect 2, and I had like two or three people die, and did the fucked up with the Reaper IFF mission as well, so I had other people die, and was like, I'm going back, I'm doing it again. I refuse.
popped up under cancer. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. I'm on an important mission, Admiral. I'll add this to the list. The prison yeah. is hidden under. I'm really the busy. Well, if you looked at my minimap, you would be like, oh, <laughs> okay. I've got a feeling this might be a DLC, because I don't remember this coming up. We'll yeah. you when you're also, that. that the quality of that like cut scene screams DLC. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, I think, um, I think it might be on engineering. I think we should go check out like the Krogan Tang. Is he always doing? Get ready to flush it out into space. The people don't remember last time we um we went to go recruit um Okia, the Krogan, who was like a Krogan yeah. warlord, and he passed away, but he'd finally built like a perfect pure like tank bred Krogan. But we put the, the Krogan bro. in the, the cargo hold because we didn't know whether we could trust it or not. Yeah, I you know there's at least one drop of getting like Rex in there. Yeah, feed the fish. As if you fed the fish too much and they all die. <laughs> hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm yeah, so cool. glad I know more about, about me. Thanks for Oh, yeah, because she, she wants the files. Like She's like, I don't know what the fuck I am. Yeah, she's like, you need to give me all these files on like the research they did on me. And Miranda's like, you don't, you, you're not allowed access to those files. And we would just, fuck off, she's allowed the file. <laughs> What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus What's are really, it's like one of the things, things. Like, I'm gonna find They tell you to go news. recruit her, and then they say it. we don't want to tell her what she's about. It's like, you asked me to recruit I wouldn't even know who the fuck she was if you didn't tell me where to go get her. Exactly, yeah. But I think if you go talk to Miranda about like the upcoming mission, says the most powerful biotic in like the universe, you definitely want the to recruit her. And then like they don't do everything in their I'm power to get her answers. on your side. Mm. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their Fair friends enough. pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I can't let you do that. No. Fuck yes we can. Fuck yes yeah. we can let Jack do that. What's your history with Cerberus? Like that's like the renegade they option of not letting her get revenge. Somebody. I escaped when yeah. I was a kid. Yeah, because revenge is terrible if you don't get revenge. And they've been chasing me ever revenge. since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. Think about this oh man, I've got to report seeing me in the middle manager and he's yelling at Barra. <laughs> Imagine how much of a foot, like how much of a badass you've got to be to yell at Barra, a seven and a half foot tall black dude with a gun for a hand. Uh, that's also as wide as a car. Yeah. Like he's he's all muscle, and the only part of him that isn't muscle is a fucking chain gun. Just a gun, yeah. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's I think he's still got some of my favourite lines in the game as well. Like if you play as Barrett, like um, just I love when like you do steel skin and he just crotch thrusts you know, and can take like a missile from uh, Ruby you Weapon. Go pirate. Just dick like thrusts at Ruby Weapon. It's like, that's right. I could help. How would you help us become space pirates? I am intrigued, Jack. You'd be my first mate. Ah. <laughs> I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. Goodbye. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. That's not a bad way to look at life, to be honest. It's not. Especially if you like the life that Jack's yeah. lived. Where she's just been like in fucking like hardcore space prison for just oh, mass murderers and shit, and she's the one that had to go in like the special containment. So, yeah, it's probably a good outlook on life to have. It's just like, well, every time I kill someone, that's me not dead. Yeah. But murder's great, actually. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. What can you tell me about this guy? 
Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species. It was fully formed yeah. as primary, secondary, and tertiary got the organs first were applicable. No seen. defects of any kind, mm -hmm. the aside from the, the genetic the markers of the genetic <laughs> present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He's a Krogan shepherd. But they also say, like, yeah, it's just then, like, he, he also doesn't have anything for the, um, uh, data to answer. the genophage. Mm -hmm. He's genetic to genetic part data. Data. So get up or eat and make more Krogan. The subject may know yeah. of his views, but would not necessarily share But obviously them. the woman would still, like, have the genophage. So it's not a perfect solution, but if he was able to make more than just one... They then... would be able to eventually selectively breed out the genophage from their species. You should hope that, like, not having the genophage will be the dominant gene, not the recessive one. Yeah, it's like, the subject may know of OK's views, but he wouldn't necessarily share them. So that's the thing, is I like... Know. Well, Do we're gonna see, is he aware? There? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. <laughs> Let's just keep him in there for a year, shall we? <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, I'm um, I'm excited to do my Baldur's Gate run, but as I say, just like I'm just annoyed that it's like they've decided to release the Xbox One version or the Xbox Series. Terrible names. The Xbox yeah. Series S version and the Xbox Series X version. And we like, still don't know the actual name. Yeah, and like I just I wish they had a prepared statement ready for when the new console version had come live. Because that seems yeah. like such a miscommunication there of like, hey, the new console version's out. It, the update on Crossplay could have been, it's not here and it won't be for a while. But the fact that it could be in a week, it could be in a year, and they've released it on the other console now, it's like, it's infuriating. It's like, just say something. It doesn't have to be good news. Just communicate. Before you go on your fucking Christmas break, just tell people where they can play co-op over Christmas. Oh, our gamers are upset. Oh, I'm upset. Stand by. Let's open up the tank. I'll and be less upset then, hopefully. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. Do as I fucking say, I Ed. Second guest on my own ship by my own ship. Do it. Very That's well. a fair point. Get me second guest by your ship. Switch. Your own the ship is like. I don't think you should do that, ship. It's like, Fuck off, I am the captain of this ship. I am the commander of you. Here we go. Such a beef. Mm -hmm. So beefy. But just immediate. Human, female. Before you die, I need a name. Why? That's like a cold last thing to say. Mm -hmm. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are <laughs> worthy of your command, prove your strength like that. and try to destroy me. Very Krogan. The like, that's the, it's the first word I ever heard. It means nothing to me, which is quite fitting. Let that, let that be my name now. Why do you want me to try to kill you? Want. I do what I'm meant to. Fight and reveal the strongest. Nothing in the tank ever asked what I want. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. That imprint failed. He has failed. <laughs> Without a reason that's it's mine. So cool. One mm -hmm. fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Oh yes, we've got the renegade points. But well, I love that. I've like... He tried to put is you know imprint on me he's a failure i might as well start any fight now and the first fight i've seen is you so let's go yeah it's, like, it's all he knows is like he knows he's perfect he's been trained like all he wants to do is fight and 
have other people prove their worth. And he was bred for combat, yeah. Uh, we don't know anything about the merch because, like, Psycho have like, had to um, do, like, a quick move. And move. Yeah. Um, so I think they're in the midst of, like, all those troubles. It doesn't seem like it was planned for them, so I think they're just dealing with some delays on that end. It was just like, you know, we were organising all this, and then the next thing we know, they, they sent a message. Like, yeah, like, we've had to pack everything up. We've moved. It's like, oh, okay. Like, bear okay. with us. That's like a turn of phrase. Like, they didn't literally have a bear with them. That would be terrifying. <laughs> Maybe they did. Maybe a bear chased them out. It's like, quick, pack what you can. Like, I did like when I was talking to them once, they told me about the existence of the pigeon room. What? Like, what the fuck's the, the pigeon room? It's, like, it's just a room where we had, like, some storage, and there was just always a pigeon in it, and we don't know where it came from. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sure they'll uh, update us when they can, but yeah. But we're the, you know, just in the middle of things, I think. But uh... they, they're going through it at the moment. Yeah, they are. Which sucks as it's like just Christmas and Black Friday yeah. happening and everything. It's like the worst timing. It's like I ordered something from them and I have a direct line to them and it didn't get a message about it till today. It took you and uh, yeah. you. I ordered oh, from my sister as so I got the message. Of like, oh, we saw you put an order through for your sister. It's like, yeah, you said you put a gift basket together, but I didn't want to. Oh like, no, no, we got your order with your name on it. Um, don't, we're going to treat you a few extra bits in for her. What do you like when she's going through the email phase? And I said, say no more. <laughs> we got you. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. Oh, Glad you saw reason. Like, just <laughs> we've got guns to them the entire uh, time. On one hand, but arm the other. Wise Shepherd. If I find He's a like, man, you know what? If I find what I, Fair enough. I want. I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. And like his whole thing here is like, wow, I can't wait to try and kill you. Mm -hmm. But I love that the fact that he had a gun to him the entire time and he's just like, you know what? Respect. I respect it. Yeah. Talk to him, does he say it? Yes. No. Shepherd. I do as well, love, that we won't see it in our playthrough, so it's not a spoiler for our own playthrough. But um I can confirm that if you do let Rex live, they do get to, like, talk to one another, and Rex does end up respecting the fuck out of Grunt. Yeah, and we won't be able to see that because all Rex is dead. But just to let you know, that's how cool Grunt is. Is like Re Rex end up respecting the shit out of him. He's like super pragmatic in it. Of like the thing of um, uh, like, hell yeah. He's and like he's just a he's fight. just a badass Krogan that wants to fucking fight. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. He's like, mate, I've been here <laughs> in like two seconds. I've been here four seconds. Well, you know, I appreciate it. Thank that's you. all for now. You know, fair, that's all you need to say. I'll leave you to it. Is that like, I've just gotten out my tank? You people talk too much. Leave me alone. Go feed those fish. On it. Go feed Grunt. I want to feed Grunt. <laughs> Just wanna... like if they had the option, open the tank, keep the tank locked, feed the Grogan. <laughs> and just you could just drop some little like, fish treats in at the top for him. You drop one of the fish in and he just eats it. It's like <laughs> nibble nibble. He loves it. So, like, feed the fish. Oh, I thought you meant feed the fish to the Grogan. Yeah. Let's go do the regular check-in. We'll see if um. Make sure you talk. Yeah, talk. See if anyone has any further things for us. And Carl, like, like I'll ask the question again. The starboard observation oh. deck is closed. Um, do we want to get rid of the scars yet, or do we want to keep them for now still? Keep them now, like, that's when they look dumb. They do look dumb. We've got until the very last mission anyway. Yeah, no, we do. Yeah. Hey. Oh, of course. Yeah, because soon they do it. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Especially oh, yeah. a ship you're meant to be on. Not a yeah. lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office. Other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened... You know old yeah, I like that she comments on that. The fact that she comments on something that happened... What, you don't like that? 
No, that's, I, I appreciate that. Oh yeah. Actually, like at least they haven't got they haven't got like full conversation um, trees, but like at least she's like, oh, it's nice that you actually went for a drink with Chuck, whilst most people ignore her. Commander, Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Fuck yeah, you did. But yeah, I thought you went. Oh, I don't like that. I was like, what's wrong with that? No, I appreciate that. It's a neat mm -hmm. little detail. It is, yeah. Here we go. Top row. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Yeah. Can it wait for Strip a bit? Strip off and report for my change. Oh no, Garrus! No. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's a oh yeah, we already bought the like weapon Garrus. upgrade. Yeah. Talk to you later. Yeah, take Garrus on your next move. I'll be like, you know, you're not bombing enough. <laughs> It's like, Gareth, you won't talk to me. Come on, Gareth. I miss our, our conversations, Gareth. That's, I miss our conversations. He's right, bro. I myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing no. personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? My father was extremely wealthy. Here it he is, the loyal mission. Daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. Well, a scout as well, so you know she knows you're lying. I love just get to the point. Give me the and that's like the detail about Miranda. Miranda that makes her really cringy. I am genetically perfect. It's like, no, you're not. You know, you're not Tally. <laughs> I have a sister, a twin. When I left, I took her with me. And found her a Wait, real is the camera not going She's into her asshole now right now? What's going on? Normal family. She's safe and hidden from Don't you feel like father. like I've massive, agents slow, creeping ass shots would do I this justice? To to I do, yeah. Especially when it's like her talking about the fact that, like, you know, her sister's dead. Or she thinks she's and dead. To clarify, they're, in the original Mass Effect 2, they kept just being like random shots of her ass during this conversation. And others. Well, like, don't you like that? Don't you just, like that? Weird zoom ins on her ass for no reason. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. It's one of those things, well, like, of course, Are they okay she has an identical located? twin sister. They know nothing. But I think like involved. she's like younger or something, right? I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to. I think she's family. like been genetically, like she's a genetic clone. clone but she's like her. a genetic clone of Miranda, but that's they're not like they are twins, but they're not twins because like he made another one of her after she left or something. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure women, none of his so agents well. get too close. Like My contact's name is I mean, Antea. She'll be waiting for us that's in the lounge. That's what the evil asshole father day. thinks, right? Like, they're not yeah. portraying that as a good thing. Which is why it's weird, though, when they talk about it, of like, um, uh, it's really weird that my dad treated me like an object and then the camera's flying into our asshole. Yeah. It's, it's such a delicious irony that the game's trying to tell you, like, Yes, my father only saw me as, like, you know, a means to an end. He created me for the purpose of, like, his own enjoyment of, like, he cared not about me as a person, but as what I represented to his dynasty and his legacy. And then the camera's just flying all the way into a bottom arm. <laughs> like, look at it! Very much enjoyed <laughs> look at it! You're going to slap it all about. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight no, to man. my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. You should dye your hair like that. The next then. one is on me. Oh, I wish I had there that shiny. Like, Chakwas, what's your hair routine like? It's drinking lots of brandy and fucking like spaceman. I just love it as a thing of like, yeah, I kind of just went to space because I thought I'd go find a load of like funky men in space. So I respect it. It's so funny. Yeah, I, I honestly, I haven't thought about Starfield other than, like, other people bringing it up and me being like, man, yeah, I really don't have any notion to go back and play that game. I have no want for that game at all. I have played, like, two hours, three hours of it, and it's like, it it just left such a terrible impression. You know what Starfield's going to be? The gaming equivalent of Avatar. But it was this huge thing that was like, you know... People waited, like, chomping the bit for it for years. 
it came out and then just no one can remember it. Yeah. It got like so many like um, 10 on 10s and dominated, but like... They didn't you know, really. I, I, I still think like, like rem- distinctly recall the poster that has like 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, yeah. There, there is like some, but I think it's Metacritic ended up at like an 83 or 4 or something. I don't think it was like, no. holy shit, this get like... There are some people who are just brainwashed Bethesda fans who will never say anything but. But, like, there are genuinely a lot of, like, six, seven out of tens for that, that review scale as well. I think I there's probably like as many seven out of tens, if not more, than ten out of tens. Oh, yeah, they're not on the post of that. Did you see that great thing of, like, Bethesda's, like, yelling at people on Steam like the game's not bad? <laughs> it's not boring. Like, the best, the best one was a response of, like, um... When the people that went to the moon saw it was empty, they didn't think that was boring. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, because they went to fucking space. It's like, this isn't the moon. This is like a video game. I loved it. Of like just some really salty person in like the marketing department or customer support or whatever is like just going around. Well, the moon wasn't boring to Neil Armstrong. This game's not boring. Fuck you. It's like the audacity to compare Starfield's empty planets to being on the first moon landing. The best is, you know, no one signed off on that. Oh, no one. (laughs) It was Todd Howard. He just sat there after a drink like, fuck you, it's not boring. That's his, you know what, that's his... uh, That's that's his alt account. Oh, God. It, like, the audacity. Just comparing it to, like, one of the most monumental moments in human history. Yeah, the release of Starfield. Yeah. Um, also, we got a message there, and it was like, oh, hey, it's um, Liara. I have some information on the Shadow Broker, because we bought the DLC or I now I guess it's included in the Legendary Edition. You know, back in the day it would have been because we bought the DLC. So Liara wants to, to meet up with us. Guess what, Carl? Just so happens to be that she also wants to meet up on Ilium, where yeah. the new um, Miranda mission is at, where recruiting two new people is at. It's like the game does that a couple of times with like Omega as well, of like is just yeah. another massive place where guess what we're just going to give you like five missions to go do is that the get yeah Joy reach oh, we already built all the um uh, the shit for this level project firewalker project firewalker <laughs> don't go do them lucas you fish will die no that's like from like the ones i've already done being like Here's the date oh, we found from that. the mission. Wait, Shepard just put on his ignore list. <laughs> oh, no, list, sorry. What the fuck? Hey, Shepard, heard I have have you to thank for getting out of purgatory. Oh, this is where um, Jack was locked up. I'm going to carve your name instead of mine into my next victim as a thanks. Got anyone you need dead? You did, take a sh- like, uh... it's like, you did take a shot at me on my way out, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes. See you around I really the people appreciate who appreciate how worry. many of your allies in Mass Effect 2 want to fucking kill you. Well, that's not even Jack. That's just from random person that we escaped. Oh, okay. And he's like, guess what? I, I love you so much, I'm going to put like your name instead of mine on my next victim. But you oh, did nearly kill me. Jack, no, it's not from Jack. It's just from, like, random inmate number three. Oh, okay. I thought it was from Jack. Of, like, she sat in the hole just writing you a little email. No, no. Oh. Um, From Morlan, I'm sorry, my mate. I'll, I leave you for a Krogan because you're not... You are not endowed as good for your species. Do you feed those words? Morland's famous shop sells many enhancements online that are not restricted by Citadel's trading regulations. Oh, so it's just like, do you want a big dick? Do you want a big dick? You're too small. All species and gender can order online from Morland's famous extranet site. Hot link from this message. 
that even in space in the future, you still get fucking spam. <laughs> Amazing. And the idea that even in the future, you get spam. Um, and then the That'd elusive so man's cool. like, oh, I see you awaken the Krogan. Um, a dangerous decision, but you've got free reign on this operation. And that's, like, how it should be. Do you know the thing is? I wish you'd tell Jack that. Oh, sorry, I wish you'd tell Miranda that. I've just... You know what? I did give you free reign. Fair enough. Do what you want. Yeah. Like, please tell Miranda that. She keeps overruling my decisions. It's mm -hmm. really annoying. How things going? Tell the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Olenko was there. How did that go? I'm just going to say fine. Like, the neutral answer for a neutral man. There's not yeah. much to say. The and by with which I could give no fuck. <laughs> How may I help Commander? I find it so weird when someone turns around and is like, yeah, Caden Olenko is my favourite. And I'm like, it's the weird who? Thing. Who? It's like, I really like vanilla ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything is I that... should know? Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. I oh, forgot he existed. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Oh, she's all in. Exhilarated. Mm -hmm. Terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. I don't know oh, about that. Yes, Commander. I've checked the wiki page on Yeoman Chambers. I've, I've seen that we can certainly fail. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genetics. Oh, yeah. It More than let's go. entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on Genophage was more than just study. I love the way Morden talks of, like, it's like he's skipping a sentence every time he talks. Yeah, it's like, it's so interesting. Like, just the fact that his writing is like that. It's like every, it's almost as if he's telling you every other sentence that he's thinking in his head and he's like mentally skipping forward through the process of talking. Yeah, it basically, it's the audio equivalent of speed reading. Mm hmm. Yeah. And that's the thing we don't, I know we're going to harp on about it forever, but just. The aliens in this game feel alien. Talking to Mordin feels like talking to an alien. Mm -hmm. Talking to a Krogan feels like talking to an alien. Classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially, just did recon, but... If I throw you in special forces, like, what about us? Mm -hmm. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Maybe they were just having hmm. a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. And I find it really interesting because obviously um, Morden is a very smart person, but people, when they talk about the genophage, like talk a lot of the time as if it was a requirement that needed to happen. And it's yeah, like, this is a thing like it's so weird. But then they don't it they don't seem to think that like maybe Morden would have a biased opinion. It's like because he talks in such a matter of fact way, no one ever seems to think that Morden isn't objective. Yeah, because he always says like, you know, it had to be done. And it's like, no, it just had to be done from your perspective. Mm -hmm. He says like for the good of the galaxy, it's like, well that's the decision you made in the moment. Yeah. And it was informed by your lived experience. And it's like, oh, and we then, did analysis. We decided that that was the, the way the Krogans were going to be from then. And it's like, but did, like, you, did like, you, like, talk to a Krogan? Did you do anything to, like, you know, think about other people's perspectives? Like, no, we just made the analytical decision. It's like I've never encountered... I, I've never, the entire time I've played this game, ever understood the reasoning for the Genovage. I've understood the it, argument... It, 
but I've, I've never, never understood I've never that sat there and been like, "Oh yes, this is completely the correct decision." Yeah, it, it should have it should have been done. It always feels like just such a horribly monstrous thing that the game never really justifies in a way that's satisfying. Oh yes, I did grab that one that you wanted to see. Um, the one that was actually game over. It's new version of Genophage, uh, released onto Chaga, other areas. Re Is that the one that's like what a scotch the, the vanilla fudge one, yeah. It looks like that. I found it in Lidl. Grabbed it from a desk because I knew hey, I mention it. Look, Lucas, look, look at what the Paragon choice is. It was the best choice to reintroduce the Genophage. Mm -hmm. look, it's the, look, you can tell it's right there. It's at the top. That means it's the correct choice. Like What you did was wrong is the Paragon option. No, this is what you... The, no, that was a question. Was, oh, okay, I didn't see the question mark. Where, where you're asking... That was really your best choice? It's like, was this the best choice? And why not go all the way and investigate? Oh, but, like, the Paragon actual option right now, like, the the statement, the, the Paragon statement that you can make is, what you did was wrong. Yes. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified Genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized what was the best outcome? Avoided publicity mm. The best outcome Hogan for you. Averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for a whole galaxy. Krogan included. Is that, but who decided that? Did the Krogan help decide that? Yeah, and that's the if thing. That's, what, that's why it always pisses me why off. Why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Just near genocide. As a whole, yeah, only a little bit. I'm just going to do a little bit of genocide, Lucas. Just mini genocide. Don't worry. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. And again, they don't talk about the fact that, like, well, maybe you come up, could have come up with, like, diplomatic solutions. They just assume yeah. that the Krogans would never agree to it. It's like, no, the Krogans would look over on the galaxy. It's like they now would ignore any right political now. solution. And it's like... And that's what they... Yeah. It's what makes the game so fascinating to say, well, the Rachni did. It's like, well, did you ever talk to the Rachni? The Rachni don't have, like... The As they literally had a it. conversation, like, please, we will do better. Let us free. Don't yeah. murder us. Which means that no one ever tried talking to the Rachni. And then that also means they probably didn't try talking to the Krogan, because I'm sure if you talk to, like, the Krogans and been like, look, you... we have this genophage that we can implement that will, like fuck you up entirely we can stop you or we can come to an agreement yeah they didn't think about like... that they just went fuck the krogan yeah it's like we can make diplomatic style it's like this is a last resort that we have as like a break glass in case of emergency we don't want to do it but it's an option in case our lives are threatened yeah if you don't stop you and know? you start trying to overtake the galaxy we can do this to you it's effectively like, you know, a more extreme argument of having a nuclear bomb, isn't it? Like, we're not going to use it, but the fact that we have it means that the opponent is always aware that we could. But yeah, I never, ever understood the reasoning, especially when they say, well, you know, they could have taken over the galaxy like the Rachni. It's like, well, the Rachni never got taught to either, because the Rachni literally tells you of, like, we just want to live. And you know what, chat, like... Let us know. Do we want to go with an actual renegade choice here? Of like, you did the right thing. We'll ignore like the renegade points for now. As I say, like that's just for the main like to make most choices easier. Rather, it's for like, the funny choice, like punching the um. Uh, exactly, yeah. To guy. make make not every single decision we have to make in the game an actual discussion like this that will go on for too long. But for this moment, just like ignore the the points on your screen. Like, do we want to say the renegade option of you did the right thing, or do we want to just be like? Thank you for telling me, or what you did was wrong. Like, what do we think? In chat. Yeah, personally, I never once ever, even on like, it just feels too wrong. Like, and there's I so can much even in the game. see like the argument for Shepard just being like, okay, thank you for telling me. Like, I will take this information into account and not make a statement on that right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it cool. Mm -hmm. but because... I've never understood like the entire full space racist run. Of, like, it makes no sense. Yeah. The Krogan could not be reasoned with. Like, well, I've got one on my team, and he seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, both Krogan both we've pretty... ever had on our party have been, like, two of the most reasonable people I've ever dealt with. 
Yeah, it's like, oh, that Krogan who's going to murder you, and you said, well, I've got a gun point, and you went, you know what, I respect that. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the Krogans respect a show of force. Mm -hmm. And that if you'd have just, like, showed up to them and said, we could wipe out your race tomorrow, they'd probably respect that. And you know what, they certainly don't respect sneaking into their home world and, like, genetically genociding them slowly. Behind their back. Probably, like, like, I bet... I bet if they went in and nuked the Krogan homeworld, the Krogan would be pissed off about it. They'd probably respect it. They'd them. probably respect it way more. Yeah, because it's like, okay, you kicked our ass, but you did it in open warfare. Mm -hmm. like, it's such a sneaky, underhanded way. And that's the thing about like, the fact that we can have this argument of like, the Krogans would have probably preferred to be nuked. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, every time, like even Okia, the warlord, he was like, oh, hey, you know, I didn't really you want this to be the way, but this is the way that I've tried to fight the gen of age and like I've made compromises and it's like, yeah, another example of a Krogan being like, you know what? This is not ideal, but I compromised. And it's like, we, we keep being told like they, they would have ravaged the galaxy and they're like crazy criminals and like murderers and they would have never listened. And it's like but every time we've ever interacted with one, apart from like the ones that were like brainwashed by, um, you know, either they were mercenaries that are attacking us, or they were fucking brainwashed by Reapers. Like, other than that, every actual Krogan we've had a conversation with has been pretty reasonable. I also, get su I also really, really don't like that the they took the Krogans, elevated them to be a spacefaring race, but they elevated their society before their time of, like, they even talk about, like, well, the Krogans were, they were, like, warring tribes on their home they were planet. Essentially, we it was like they gave barbarians guns. Got yeah, mad like, that the barbarians back. like dominated completely, and then decided that they were the problem. Imagine going back in time and giving Vikings machine guns, and then being pissed off that the Vikings start shooting everyone. It's like well, they're fucking Vikings. <laughs> and that's essentially what they did. Like they elevated the Krogans to be a spacefaring race, give them spaceships and laser guns, mm -hmm. made them fight their war against the Rachni, a war they could not win without their help, and then afterwards, just deleted their planet from existence like it's one of those things like fuck the council for that decision mm -hmm. like they earned the right to like, have self-determination in the fate of their species and also the bear that in that mind council... that in this universe the humans are also not considered like a like you know wise enough and developed enough race to the council to have like taken part take get a seat on the council it wasn't until you saved the universe. And as I'd argue... The well, it's Krogans only when we murdered the council and took it for ourselves. Yeah. But the fact that they didn't think of, like, appointing a Krogan counsellor and talking to them after they literally single-handedly, as a race, saved the universe. Like, the rest of the galaxy was getting its ass handed to it by the Rachni. And in this game, we even see that, like, some of the Krogan elders essentially act as diplomats. And that's the reason all the Krogan elders remember it happening. They remember mm -hmm. fighting in the Rachni Wars and yeah. just like being completely mistreated by Taurians and Salarians who saw them as cannon fodder. Yeah. You know say We were happy to do it because we were given the gift of battle. And they elevated our species to like under to a plane of existence we never thought possible. And our reward for helping them was being genocided. Yeah. And now look at us. And that's really, especially when you go to the home planet, you go to Chachanka, and they've got like architecture. Yeah, and society yeah. and culture and art. Um, so what they it's not like they were like. The genophage was oh, a mistake. There we go. On a war crime. Don't want me on team. Don't bring me. Bit Can't of an audio bug here. there. Work on collector research, but no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. That's the thing as well. The fact he says I did what was right instead of I did what I thought was right. Time. Well, it's like it'll be a. Uh... Interesting in Mass Effect 3 if Mordin survives to see what Mordin maybe does or doesn't think then. Because that's the thing is like, again, like respect to Mass Effect of like, yeah, that, that conversation can reoccur in Mass Effect 3. But also Mordin could just not be in Mass Effect 3. He could be dead, yeah. yeah. He's probably one of the most important characters in the series when you think Command. about it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I haven't really had time to check in since we launched. Glad to be on board. <clears throat> and I have to apologize. I'm a little unfocused due to a personal matter. But I won't let it affect Oh, me. here we go. This is a space where they all give you their own... Hey, definitely got my side quest. If it affects on, then what's my up? crew, it's my business. Sir. I don't yeah, this is like where the first round of recruits kind of give you their... 
loyalty missions. And you should probably well, go I got do them. Pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. Um, yeah, so well, the well. idea will be to kind of focus on recruiting people first, then doing loyalty then missions, do and making sure we don't do the Reaper IFF shit. Yep. That, that I think, is the best think plan, I'm... because we have... A waste of time if you if we recruit around. people earlier, we have Listen. more time to spend with those people and appreciate the group more. That went missing ten years ago. Yep. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His I also like how um, Jacob says, Sir, which... Is gender neutral. It is a gender neutral um, uh, term of respect for the military and stuff. Yeah. Out of the black. Now, yep. I'm not convinced it isn't just. Right, so we use mom. So we use sir. Over. Both are correct. Both are acceptable. Now, you wouldn't call a male mom, but you would call a woman sir, which is one if of those yeah. probably weird antiquated things of like, probably came from the fact that they didn't want to like recognize women in the military at first, and it become like a gender neutral thing to the military, but. Yeah. It's like it is sure considered a from. sign of respect regardless, yeah. It's similar to like um they mentioned it in Game of Thrones. Briefly that about being a knight. Mm -hmm. but like Brienne of Tarth, they make her a knight, and it's like there's nothing that says you have to be a man to be a knight, it's just that all men are knights. Like uh, the only thing required to be a knight is to be noble. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, yeah, you know, referring to people as chat, like using fourth person pronouns and something like it's so funny because like Every time you refer to like anyone in different ways and stuff, it's like obviously using di different pronouns in different ways, and then there's just those weirdos that still to this day, even when you point it out, refuse to believe in like pronouns as a thing. We don't believe in pronouns. It's like you use them every sentence of your fucking life, you moron. It's just a thing that you've been told to dislike because the news wants you to be stupid and angry at something that's not the fact that like. See if it's legit. Yeah, they want to like, your pension distract you from important way. shit, so they tell you to get mad at the word right. pronoun. Who knows? Maybe there is. Yeah, it's like every year. It's nearly Christmas. It's happened, happened again. There's like a black Santa. People getting mad. Santa's white. Well, Santa's not real for a start. <laughs> Actually, no, he is. He's super real. And he's black. And yeah. He's gay. Yeah. He's in a wheelchair. He could be anything. He's magic. He can do what he wants. Yeah. He's an alien shapeshifter that can teleport around the world and provide gifts for all people. Yeah. But I did see, yeah, there's a fascinating breakdown by linguist because why Shadows mention it, of um, the fact that chat could be the Tell first fourth-person pronoun. And it's like, yeah, that's great. That means language is evolving. Hmm. Technology is influenced by language we're using. Isn't that interesting? People are annoyed about it. It's like, no, it's interesting. Yeah. Linguists love this sort of thing. And grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, like, and that great yeah, never, as long never thought as you can yeah. as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Like, because, you know, when you when you say that, it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, Hindi has fourth per person pronouns. That's cool, yeah. Like, I, I'd never thought of, like, being, like, the first one in English. Yeah, because it's the thing, like, think yeah. about, yeah, you're talking about, like, just an outside observer group. Yeah, like, that thing is it's so funny, is, like, just the ways the that different languages Joker, like oh well, english are like, well there's no way that you could like this first Having second and third person right myself. and like then you got bangla that has like if we get a fifth break, person like pronouns off, like doubt. And it's like when you talk Did about we? like the concept of like well the, there's no way that we could perceive like the fourth dimension and it's like but other beings probably can and it's probably nothing yeah. to them just in the same way that like there's probably some things that can only perceive things in the second dimension, but we can see the third. Yep. It's all really interesting. It's like with language, there was that great um, uh, um, article written by a linguist about the idea of like, you know, for like literally hundreds of years, humans have been trying to figure out a way to accurately portray sarcasm. Like there was quite literally a sarcasm denominator for fonts when you mean sarcastic in written text. Hmm. Because writers found, you know, there's that old quote about, like, you will never be able to write something sarcastic enough that people won't take it seriously. The old ad of the internet. Like, no matter how sarcastic or, like, um, uh, you think you're being, people, someone out there will think you're being serious. And they said, yeah, we had this literally hundreds of years trying to solve this issue, and then someone in the SpongeBob meme figured it out. Because you read that as sarcastic. Yeah, like, And apparently it really annoyed a lot of English, like, students and professors and linguists, because... The fact that someone on the internet for a piss take figured out how to accurately portray sarcasm via text 
But even, like, that's the thing is, like, yeah, because it came from such a stupid place, they get annoyed by it. But the reason they're annoyed by it is because it does work. Because if it didn't work, so genius. then they wouldn't get annoyed by it. They'd just write it off. Yeah, and they're annoyed in that way where it's that joking thing of, like, we've been trying to figure this out for hundreds of years, and someone on the internet who will never be able to credit. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. No one will be able to get credited for inventing that. Well, they've literally invented a new way of communication, of, like, getting across, making communication clearer. Rather than just, like, slash S at the end of a Reddit post, yeah. Yeah, which sometimes you can miss if you just, like, skim reading, but you don't misread those SpongeBob memes as anything but sarcastic. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. Yeah, Turn it's it like. Out. Oh no! It, to be fair, it's got on mute. Use it. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching, like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head and comp side. You just want to punch oh, God, it. I had that on the fucking train the other day. Went to visit also someone looking at you. Know I mean. And no, it wasn't me. Fine. We Thanks. took the dogs on the train, and the train oh, beforehand had been cancelled as well. So it was rammed to shit, like wall to wall. And there were these two kids that were being super loud and staring at Cade the entire time. And it's like Cade was old, stressed out, doesn't like kids anyway because they're super erratic and it, you know, makes them feel unsafe. And they were staring at Cade the entire time. I kept like reaching the hand over by Cade, but like to try and like rest the hand on the chair. And it kept setting Cade like really nervous and i just i wanted to just turn around and be like stop leave my dog alone like he's like shaking and stressed please leave my dog alone but i know you probably yeah. see a small dog and think i want to pet him but he is stressed i'm probably just gonna like bark or snap at you or something and then you're gonna cry and he's like just stop please i just want to like scream at these children by the end of like the half hour journey. Yeah, it's like um, I was walking through town the other day and I saw That's a sausage dog now. actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, my friend's got one of those. Do you mind if I pet him? And they went, well, he doesn't mind people, but he can do without. And I went, you know what? I respect that and left. <laughs> That's how most of them are, yeah. Is that Oryx? Oryx couldn't give a flying fuck. Oryx is just asked, like. Always... Yeah, man. Yeah, cool. It's like, um, you just ask that like, your dog mind being fussed, and like, and I think you just said, like, he, he, he's okay with it, but he can give it, he can do without. It's like, okay, yeah, and it's like, you know, you I... Look out there and sometimes... <laughs> I, love, I, just, I just for fun just press the shutter control and like close yeah. it. And as I walked away, all I heard was Joker being cut off going, Sometimes you look out there, and it's just, <laughs> like, you have to shut the shutters on him. I still think I giggle when I talk to that thing like you flew into the sun. It's like, poor Kasumi. <laughs> I love looking out the window. Just over the blind. Just inside the sun. But yeah, it was funny because like, my mum had not met Oryx yet. Um, and like, we, we taught the dogs to go see her and just like, they both ran in and Cade was like running around because he's not been to my mum's before. Like, or um, well, not that flat anyway. And he was like bolting around, like sniffing everything. And like my mum was trying to fuss them both. And Oryx was like just blankly ignoring her. Like, you do not exist to me. Like he didn't even care that he was getting fussed. He was just like, I'm just, I'm just walking around inspecting. She was like, oh, come here, come here. It's like, yeah, whatever. And then Cade's like barking at every person. Like, give me attention. I need, to... hello. But I also, I don't want I love... to see you yet. And it's like. Oryx is just the polar opposite. I do love dog personalities. I always remember my friend um, from high school where her dog, if you didn't give it attention, would take your shoes and put them in its water dish. And it's like, <laughs> it's such a like, I respect it. Move I respect dog. it. Yes, I think. I remember I came up, my shoes were piss wet through. Went, oh, yeah, you didn't give me enough attention. So you just put your shoes in the water dish. Oh. Uh. It's like, would what a hater move. Oh, you gotta bring Kroger. Like, look Kroger's how fucking like huge Grunt is. He's like a clear head above everyone else. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, what's Grunt's other appearance? Oh, visor mode. Let's go. Yeah, take Kroger and take uh, Garrus. Yeah. Yeah. Australian Shepherd with a beagle. Oh, that's. Oh my God! You got glowing red eyes. Yeah, Looks we like do. Your eyes. Look like Tifa. Wait, Tifa has glowing red eyes? What? You don't know? Tifa's got red eyes, look. 
Look at the picture I sent you. Yeah, she's got red eyes. Oh, yeah, she has, like, kind of maroonish, like, orangey eyes, kind of. Yeah. They're not, like, glowing red demon eyes, though. Not glowing, man. They're not, like, shepherd's eyes off right there. I was like, wait. It's one of those funny things they talk about, like, Cloud has unnaturally blue eyes. Like, Tifa, your eyes are red. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. more unnatural than that. You know what? Incendiary ammo is like, yeah, cool, whatever. But should we just, like, go Krogan all in Berserker. on Krogan Berserker? Put it all into that. Look at his health regeneration that he gets. Ooh. Okay. So he gets uh, 55 points regeneration and 15% weapon damage, or 25% weapon damage and 40 regeneration. All into regeneration, because it's so funny when does Grunt will not die. <laughs> look at him. He barely fits on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> but look how much like our entire bust... Fits so like you got the whole shoulders and chest in there, and Krogan's yeah. like Krogan Grunt's face barely fits in there. Like, yeah, let's go. I love that. Collector assault rifle, Geth plasma shotgun. Grunt is shotgun. stacked. He is. He's getting. He's nursing such a quad right now. I wonder what class Grunt is when he's got assault rifle shotgun. He's just such a Kroger. Look at him. Yeah, look, I, I find dogs with, like, snooty dogs are funny, but, like, you know, they're generally not cuddly, which is always a downside. That way, though, you walk into the mission, it's like, oh, good shot, Rex. And Grunt's like, what? And it's like, nothing. <laughs> it's a shot to the heart. No, you actually call, like, your sort of girlfriend by your ex's name. <laughs> and you're, like, still not over it. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Yeah, I just thought you know. I've got, um... Well, I've got, like, the, the fucking Team 4 star thing in my head now of, like, Shepard just turns and is like, oh, good job, Grunt. And then, like, the ghost of Rex is behind, like, hey, hey, remember me? Oh. I think I rewatched some Team Four Star recently. I just I I cannot get over how tight some of their comedy writing is. Like the the first ten episodes or whatever are really like a bit naff and them finding their feet. But like from um, Namek onwards, it's like they they the jokes don't always land nowadays when I'm a bit older and like time has yeah. moved on a little bit. But the writing is is really tight. Yeah, it is really well done yeah. considering. Like the one that always gets me is when it's just Gohan and Goku training in the hyperbolic time chamber. And he's like, is this all there is? And like, yeah, it's just me, you, and the void. The void, <laughs> void. Does it always do that? Only when you say void, void, void. Why am I going to avoid that word? Void, void, void. It's, like, it's just such a dumb joke, but it's really funny. Yeah. That one always made me giggle. It's like, yeah, there are, there are some jokes that don't, haven't timed very well. Uh, I'm age very well, sorry, um, and stuff. But like, generally speaking, it has like held up pretty well for like a dumb comedy internet bit. The Freezer saga one's really good because then you get like the joke about Zarbon, where it's like the like, new force talking to Freezer. It's like here. we're coming, Freezer. It's like Zarbon, quick, they're coming! Grab the my balls! Just Zarbon, grab my balls! In Freezer's voice, always makes me. Please send me. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward and, um, to seeing the one, one, one thing that I will say is, like, I think earlier on, they, like, lean into gay jokes quite a lot. And watching the commentaries yeah, that they've done yeah. has made me feel a little bit better about it, the fact that one of the two main writers is a gay man. I was like, yeah. at least it's, like, more, you know, him jamming, uh, himself being gay and stuff like that. It's, like, it's not just two straight guys being like, I fucking hate gay people. Yeah, so, like, all the Zarbon stuff's really funny as well. It's like, I need to call my girlfriend. It's like, what? Mm -hmm. It's like, it, like yeah. it, it paints it in a slightly nicer lens when I realise that, like, maybe they weren't just like, oh, let's make gay jokes because we don't like gay people. Yeah, also, like, Freezer was always effeminate, and I love that. Mm -hmm. Like, in the, even in, like, the, the dub that we got, when, yes. unless he was, like, talking, like, re Repulsa. <laughs> There's a couple of jokes where he talks like Rita Repulsa, do not he? But then mm -hmm. when it's like, just when, just freezes, just like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
Um, Zabon, grab my balls. I'm yeah, not all, not so all of them hit. Perfect. Um, not all of the jokes hit. Not all of them age well. But yeah, it's it's held up surprisingly well considering it's just this like what it started like fifteen years ago as like a dumb a bridge series yeah. on the internet like. It is remarkably well written. Mm -hmm. And it surprised me none of them went into like actual comedy writing. Like, how did none of them get reached out to by like actual comedy doing? shows? Like, hey, do you want to write for us just as a joke writer? But it's really funny because in those commentaries that they've released, they talk about how like how many now quite famous like people in the voice acting world did little like jobs for them when they were starting yeah. out. Like they managed to get a lot of people that ended up becoming actual professional voice actors. Yeah, I just don't know how they just didn't get picked up or scooped up by like. I guess like they'd be able to successfully not not be there Welcome like scooped by Machinima or something like that. But how was there not day. just some writing crews? I know like when Cracked Imploded, a lot of those writers got scooped up by like um like one of them writes for Family Guy, right? One of them writes like Last Week Tonight. They got scooped up like you know you've got chopped writing jokes. Um, Krios, the there it is, Thane Krios. Well. I meant to ask, actually, like... Yeah, because, Shadow, you mentioned Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. What was that other thing that you were watching that was, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge thing? That you, like, messaged our group animal. chat about? Was it called, like, Time to Duel or something? Oh, me? Oh, yeah, I was watching the, um... Me and yeah, Charlie sorry, was like, scrolling you, through yeah. shit on, uh... It's Time to Duel, which is like a fan film based on Yu-Gi-Oh! And me and Charlie were astounded that it existed. And we came to the conclusion that it was someone must have pitched it in college or university. Don't let this place Got like a proof of concept of the battle versus Kaiba and um, Yu-Gi. And then somehow tricked their university into giving them more funding for a full movie. <laughs> the Kaiba-Yu-Gi fight is like it's bad. It's real bad. Mm. But there's like at least a bit of effort so put in there, but the rest of it is just people no, who no, kind no, of look like the people in the show talking. Oh, oh, right, okay. Come on, come on, give me something. Because me and Charlie were looking like, if this was just like dumb, over the top and dumb the entire time, it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Is it is it worth a watch or is it just boring then? It's worth a watch with a few drinks like me and Charlie did, but... Right, yeah. It's more than it's worth a watch to try and figure out like how did this get made because it's not funny Shepherd. in a way where they're making fun I of the concepts. You. It's basically just like a straight up just we're gonna honor. remake the first episode. I yeah. I was asked. But then like there's the one guy wearing the you. like the Yuki hair it's and the outfit, funny. but then everyone else is like in jeans and t-shirt. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I think that's the picture you just sent to us. But it's all worth it for when Silver Wolf turns up and it's just like a stock asset wolf <laughs> died green. Yeah, uh, Goku's always like to play Dr. Correa doesn't surprise me. Um, surprised like you shouldn't get a bigger lady. role than Dr. Correa in One Piece, but like, um, yeah, like Dr. Correa in One Piece is an old lady, so that makes sense. Um, See, we're not Goku playing by some old lady. It's so funny. It is funny. It's some like eight year old one. And then like, um, I remember watching um, Totally Not Mark, who is a Dragon Ball YouTuber and does a lot of other animes as well. And he was like talking about One Piece, and he's like, I don't really get the hype around like why people like Chopper. And I was like, this is like blasphemy uh, to me, at least in the one. Uh, you know, a lot of people in the One Piece community is like Chopper's fucking adorable. And it's like, because he only read the manga. And then he's like, oh, I watched a bit of the uh, filler that people need, like, told me I needed to watch. Now I understand why people like Chopper, because it's the voice of Pikachu. And it's like, now I understand why people love Chopper so much, because, like, having Pikachu's voice on top of Chopper makes it way more adorable. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, the... Dr. Correa has the one that um, Jamie Lee Curtis, Curtis wants to play in One Piece. Uh, totally not Mark. Yeah, no. I think he was the one that got like almost entirely shut down in one go by... Um, oh, what do you call them? Um, 
Toei animation. animation. Yeah. And he had to ask Team Four Star for like advice on how to get around it and shit. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Like, there's never been a YouTuber I've been recommended more that I just could not give less of a shit about. It's like, I don't need someone to tell me how good Dragon Ball is. I've seen Dragon Ball. Yeah. That's fair enough. It's like, I enjoy exactly. watching oh, the content, really good... but I'm not going to sit there and badger you about it. It's like, oh, they do really good breakdowns of Dragon Ball. It's like, yeah, but I've seen Dragon Ball. They do They do a lot more than, than like, um, just Dragon Ball, to be fair to them. And our crescendo but that's where they, like, picked up to begin with. The thing that I really like about them is the fact that they're like an like actually good artist that redraws a lot of Dragon Ball stuff in like other Dragon Ball artist styles and stuff. Like yeah. I find those episodes of the their Dragon Ball content really interesting of like, oh I drew a frame of super in like a Dragon Ball Z style and stuff like that. Um a single episode that'll get your friend in Dragon Ball Z, there's like there's not really a single episode because, like, everything is, like, dragged out. Like, there's not really like. They can watch one of the movies. Yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe movies. maybe one of the movies like um. I, I watched mean, Kai. Kai is a better choice because it's a lot of the fluff is cut out. Um, or just watch Team Four Star. It's the thing. Like, it's but a lot of those shows are land out. because of Star. your you prior know knowledge thing, yeah. of Dragon Ball. Like, I would not recommend watching Team Four Star without watching. Um, it makes it the better, original. but it only makes it better because you know what the original content is. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it makes it better to watch when you know what the original content is. Oh it's right, really, okay, yeah. The truncated version of a story is really good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but again, you have to have that kind of prior knowledge to appreciate it. But yeah, yeah. maybe like watching one of the better movies, like it might be worth like. Even be like, I don't know, watching like maybe like the Battle of Gods movie as like an intro to Battle Dragon God Ball. Movie. Battle of God movies is decent because it, like you've got the fun slice of life stuff in there and the decent fights at the end. Yeah, and it kind of you know sets you off as a bit of a reset point. They liked Battle of Gods. Yeah, I would kind of if they enjoyed Battle of Gods. It might just be worth, like, just, yeah, it's one of those things that, well, if you like Battle of Gods, you will end up liking Z. And it's like, that isn't really a question in my mind. Especially Kai. Like, especially Kai, like... Yeah, because yeah. Z's actually really slow. Z is very, very slow, but... Yeah, I can't imagine that they would like Battle of the Gods and ever not enjoy Dragon Ball Kai. Also, yeah, the rack guy are just contacting us. Glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Oh yeah. You're somewhere close by. The rack night queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that. Oh, because the rack night being nice. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. I think honestly, yeah, like Dragon Ball Z doesn't really get good until Vegeta starts making moves. Like, the dead yep. Goku bit, like, is is it's fine. The Goku training, uh, the Gohan training bit is not great. Like, Snake Way can be fun for some people, but not for others. I think Nappa fight's alright, but it's, it's when you get to the Vegeta part. That's when, like, oh, this is what Dragon Ball Z is now. I love this. Just Oh yeah, tell her to be you good. Pass a message back. Tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. And I like that I because will be eaten by the Ragnar Queen. You can hear from the Ragnar in three. But I do Holy just like crap, the Shepherd? in number two. I thought you were dead. They were kind of just like, hey, guess what? I'm just gonna remember the Ragnar are out there. Like, I think that what gets me though is if you kill the Right Eye Queen, they just clone her in the third one. 
Yeah, Joe, because they want that plot line. In the third one, if you killed the Rat and Eye Queen, they say she got cloned, and it's the exact same story either way. And it's like, oh, wait, to make that decision completely pointless. I didn't know that. Is that, that yeah, that's, yeah, that's awful. Um, because you've never not freed the Rat and Eye Queen, so you've never yeah. not seen that. But yeah, they clone her. Right. On that note, I, was curious about I am going to... Um... <laughs> I'm going to say there because I can feel myself dropping off. I'm getting tired. It's like, you Not know, 2020. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's like, we've got a lot to do on this. That's probably like, next stream is probably just going to be completely just Ilium. Because there is like four main missions. There's two loyalty missions and two recruitment missions. We've already got on Ilium, and I think there's more to unlock. And we've got to talk to Liara as well. Yeah. So, there's a lot to do on Ilium, and I think it's a good place to just be like, We've gotten onto the the station. We're going to go talk to people next time and start off missions. And I say we'll do the recruit mission missions first so that maybe we can bring the newbies on to like the new missions and stuff like that. So you've barely got to know Grunt yet. We've barely got to know Grunt like or Grunt. Jack, really. Yeah, Grunt is literally just been going. like, I respect that you tried to kill me. Let's move on with life. And that's all old. we know about Grunt. <laughs> He's four days old. He's not killed someone yet. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Link to the Past, and then on Thursday it'll just be more Pokemon X North Lock. But yeah, um, I'm gonna from next week onwards. I'm gonna be taking like some time out of work, so I'll let people know on the Discord like what my schedule is gonna be for those two weeks. I'm not 100 percent decided yet, but. This week is just going to be oh, like okay. as normal. Uh, no, tomorrow I don't think will be end of Link to the Bastard. So like, I think we've still got four dungeons and then the ha the final boss to do. So I think it'll be two or three more streams. We're just going to drop the all day stream. Let's go. I don't know. We'll see how busy I am over Christmas. But yeah, no confirmed uh, schedule and stuff for next week or the week after. But. Um, I'll let people know on um, on like the weekend or whatever before next week I'll let people know what's going on but yes yeah. I'll let everyone know on discord and thank you all for being along this before. sorry about all the, the half hour of technical issues and sound problems again I Ugh. can't wait for them all to have a year even worse I know like they'll come back they'll be stronger they'll have trained in like the fucking time chamber run just come back even stronger the hyperbolic glitch chamber let's go oh god no thank you everyone for watching and i hope everyone has a lovely day evening or night wherever you are <laughs>